Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Resurrection of the Mystery, starting from the clone of the stone-born monkey. Chapter 21. The moment he thought of, farming, inspiration burst out in Wang Jie's mind. As a time traveler, farming is a gene engraved in the soul. The difficulty in growing blood crystal rice and milk thistle is that the crops themselves are delicate, require many people to take care of them, and the land is not fertile. It's not difficult to recruit ordinary civilian husbands, it's just a matter of money. I can use all the copper coins, gold and silver in my money, as well as precious fabrics, to recruit civilian husbands. And I have the eye of the spirit, so avoiding natural disasters and protecting production are easy for me. The only trouble is that the soil is not fertile enough. Thinking of this, Wang Zhe recalled the agricultural development history of his Blue Star hometown. His memory is very good now, whether it is before or after time travel, as long as he has seen something, he can easily recall it. The key to the sudden increase in food production is chemical fertilizers. The process of industrialization and the development of the chemical industry have brought large amounts of cheap fertilizers to farmland. The production of chemical fertilizers is indeed a way of thinking, but the problem is that the world's production level is still limited to farming and there is no sign of industrialization. How to make chemical fertilizers? Wang Zhe frowned. After thinking about this problem, he came up with a compromise. It's not realistic to rely on industrial production of fertilizers, but I do know some homegrown fertilizer methods. Although the efficiency is not as high as industrialization, they can indeed produce fertilizers. There are also some fertilizers with simple processing methods in nature, such as brine salt mines, struvite, and leguminous rhizobia. Wang Zhe thought of the feature of, knowing the location, of his eyes of the mingling. These eyes can help him see the underground mineral resources. I can find a suitable opportunity to go out to explore the natural resources of the Yu Kingdom. If I can really develop some valuable resources, not only will I be able to benefit, but the people of the Yu Kingdom will also be able to drink soup. That's my luck. He has this idea and thinks it is very feasible and has great benefits. Thinking of Yu's natural resources, Wang Zhe vaguely felt that he seemed to be ignoring something. Fortunately, he has a very strong memory. After a little recollection, he suddenly reacted. The Jiaogu under Shanghu Lake. Wang Zhe remembered that every year Jiaogu would release energy to Shanghu Lake, making Shanghu Lake extremely rich in aquatic products. Essence, martial practitioners need essence to practice. Since the essence of dragon bones can make Shanghu fish fat and shrimp strong, I can't dig out the dragon bones now, but I can indirectly use the essence of dragon bones. Wang Ji's inspirations came one after another. Reclaiming a field near Shanghu Lake to plant blood crystal rice and milk thistle, and then irrigating with lake water, this should also be able to use the essence of Jiaogu, but the utilization efficiency may be very low. And will the reclamation of the lake affect the people's livelihood? Wang Zhe considered both pros and cons. However, as he deepened his thinking, Wang Zhe came up with another solution. I don't need to build a field around the lake. I can just dig the silt from the bottom of the lake, especially the layer of silt covering the Jiaogu. That kind of silt has infiltrated the dragon bones for hundreds of years, and it will definitely be used as a good fertilizer to support the growth of blood crystal rice and milk thistle. The Jiao bones are inlaid and fused with the rocks at the bottom of the lake, which is extremely difficult to excavate, but the mud on the Jiao bones is much easier to carry, and the difficulty is only in diving. Quote, the bottom of Shanghu Lake is 50 meters deep. It is dangerous for ordinary people to dive without equipment, but it is still very easy for martial arts masters. I don't need a master of martial arts. I can do it with a blood-changing martial artist like Yan Fei. I can even go up by myself after my martial arts level is higher, and it's not easy to reveal the secrets of the bottom of the lake. After all, it's just digging the most surface layer of silt. Quote, Thinking about this, Wang Zhe can vaguely imagine the day when he will realize the freedom of blood crystal rice in the future. Things have to be done one by one. Accompanied by the minister of the Xiaofu, Wang Zhe finished shopping in the internal funds and took two stones of blood crystal rice, a basket of milk thistle, a rare wild blood ginseng, and two doses of dragon and tiger soup from the internal funds as the king of Yu. Blood crystal rice and milk thistle are both crops grown in the fields, and wild blood ginseng is a specialty of the barbarians in the south of Yu. One of the reasons why he was brave and good at fighting, and was able to go north to invade the country of Yu many times. 
At the same time, barbarian blood ginseng is also used by the barbarians as hard currency for trade. Through traders, the barbarians traded food, silk, ironware and even books from the north. Of course, the quality of blood ginseng used by the barbarians for trading is generally not too high. The rare blood ginseng is hidden by the barbarian tribes and regarded as an important strategic reserve. There are also 13 plants of precious barbarian blood ginseng in the money of the King of Yu. I don't know if they were snatched from beating barbarians over the years. As for the dragon and tiger soup, it is boiled with the blood essence of some rare birds and animals with the secret recipe of the palace, and then cooled into agar jelly for preservation, which is of great benefit to martial arts practice. It is not easy to raise rare birds and animals, and the cost is high. The annual output of dragon and tiger soup is limited, the shelf life is not long, and the stock of internal funds is not much. Wang Jie led the people to carry these martial arts secret food, and then looked at the coins, gold and silver, silk and silk displayed in the money. These martial arts resources are extremely precious. Fortunately, I am the king of Yu, so I can obtain them relatively easily. Others regard martial arts secret food as a treasure, but I can eat it all at once. Wang Jie felt emotional in his heart. After thinking about it, he thinks he is not a person who seeks pleasure, gold, silver and treasures are not much use, so it is better to turn them into more martial arts resources. I couldn't help but ask the minister of the Xiaofu if there is any black market or other place that sells martial arts secret food. Xiao Fuqing also looked embarrassed, muttering in his heart that he is also a genuine high-ranking official, dignified Juqing, why go to the grey area to deal with? But since it is what King Yu needs, Xiao Fuqing can only nod and say. We will pay attention to this news, but your highness needs to know that the black market shipments are uncertain, the source is unknown, and the premium is quite high. Wang Jie just waved his hand. Money is not a problem, as long as it is a safe and usable martial arts secret food. Then let's do it, to be on the safe side, you should first inquire about the news, and then submit the news, let me make a decision. The humble minister takes orders. The minister of the Xiaofu responded. Then send someone to send the secret martial arts food to the imperial dining room, and Wang Jie will eat these secret martial arts food every day for the next month. For him, the king of Yu is just a start, and there is still a lot to work on in the future. Wang Jie did not come to court, but accepted the memorial presented by the prime minister and Sikong. Wang Jie's routine is to practice martial arts during the day, and to light up the lights at night to read books and watch memorials. Generally speaking, the memorials are processed by the Prime Minister and Sikong. The general affairs are arranged. As long as Wang Jie has a look, as long as there is no problem, just stamp it. However, on the 21st day after succeeding to the throne, Wang Jie was practicing martial arts in the palace. The palace guard hurriedly came to report. Your Highness, Prime Minister Sikong has an urgent note. Wang Jie was slightly taken aback, not knowing why, so he could only stop practicing martial arts, and took the memorial presented by the guards. When I opened it, the content was very simple, but Wang Jie's face changed slightly. The king of Anyang rebelled, and Emperor Zan sent troops to attack him. The Dokshuan court has begun to cut down the feudal clan by force. King Anyang, one of the seven kings with different surnames entrusted by Emperor Zan. It is said that it is infefment, but in fact, before the establishment of the Dokshuan Empire, King Anyang was already a vassal of the separatist side. His territory was conquered by himself, his soldiers and horses were recruited by himself, and the counties and counties under his rule were all controlled by his civil servant group. It can be said that Emperor Zan just gave King Anyang the title of vassal king, and officially recognized his right to rule. Among the seven vassals, King Anyang is one of the best in terms of land size, and in terms of soldiers and horses. Before I left Kyoto, I heard that the number was 60,000. He is also a martial arts master himself. In terms of geographical location, Anyang Kingdom is a rich land facing the sea in the southwest, a desert in the north, bordering Liang Kingdom in the west, and located in the northwest of Dokshuan. With a golden horn and a grass belly with silver edges, the King of Anyang has a golden horn. As far as the degree of intimacy between kings with different surnames and Emperor Zan is concerned, King Anyang should be at the bottom. After all, he used to be a prince who supported King Wu, but he jumped to Emperor Zan's side in the middle of the war. 
The king of Anyang supported his own self-respect, and his relationship with Emperor Zhang was relatively distant, so it is no wonder that Emperor Zhang would be the first to take him to the knife. Quote, Wang Jie's own understanding of the Anyang king flashed through his mind. Of course, Wang Jie was not too clear about the specific circumstances of the rebellion, so he could only hastily summon Sikong into the palace. Sikong Han Dang seemed to have been waiting outside the palace. After Wang Jie sent out the edict, he appeared in front of Wang Jie within 10 minutes. Han Dang's appearance is very good, with sword eyebrows and star eyes, a face like a crown of jade, and a beard like a halberd, it is no exaggeration to call him a handsome man. In fact, Han Dang came from a poor family. Compared with those court officials who came from famous families and had a network of friends and relatives, Han Dang's background made him seem worthless. However, Han Dang is indeed a capable person, plus he was born in a poor family and has no entanglement with the court faction, and his connections are clean, so the old Yu King singled out him and promoted him to Sikong. For such a person with no roots in the officialdom, if he wants to gain power and realize his ambitions, the only person he can rely on most is the king of Yu who is the monarch. For this reason, Wang Jie still trusted Han Dang. Sitting in the courtyard, without too much red tape, Han Dang got straight to the point. Your Highness, King Anyang's rebellion, according to Dok Xuan's official statement, when Emperor Zhang was suppressing the remnants of King Wu, he discovered that there were culprits who had an affair with King Anyang. When Emperor Zhang was investigating, King Anyang rebelled. According to my officials' inquires about this matter, there are many similarities and minor differences. It is said that Emperor Zhang had long wanted to crusade against Anyang, so he used the excuse of suppressing the remnants of King Wu to mobilize troops. Seeing that the situation was not right, King Anyang raised his troops first. Of course, these are just rumors, and His Highness needs to judge by himself. Quote, Wang Jie understood the cause and effect after hearing the words. However, he didn't care whether it was Emperor Zhang or King Anyang who made the move first. Wang Jie only cared about one thing. Emperor Zhang has started to attack the vassal king, this is just the beginning. Thinking that the follow-up might bring about a series of chain reactions, Wang Jie frowned and asked Han Dang. What's Sikong thinking? The Central Plains is fighting again, how should our country of you deal with itself? Han Dang also had a draft, and quickly elaborated. Today, the world is set, and the common people look forward to recuperating, and if there is war, the people resent it. The king of Anyang is a vassal king, he does not guard the borders to calm the people, secretly colludes with the bandits, revolts again, and offends the superiors, which violates the oath, which is against the righteousness. Emperor Zan raised his troops to quell the rebellion, driven by righteousness and the will of the people, he is the teacher of justice. Wang Jie listened and nodded slightly, no matter what dirty things Xuandi and King Anyang had in private, but on the bright side, King Anyang's rebellion was not justified. Han Deng went on to say, In my humble opinion, the calamity of war should be avoided and kept at a distance. I crossed the country and watched across the river, aloof from the world, and strictly abide by my duty. The first is to denounce King Anyang's perverse actions, which strengthens Emperor Zan's prestige. The second is to govern the country and the people as usual, to eliminate public opinion, and if there are traitors who spread rumors, both officials and people will be severely punished. The third is to strictly guard the barriers in southern Xinjiang, and be alert to the barbarians who can take advantage of opportunities. Quote. Wang Jie heard the words, thought for a while, then nodded in satisfaction and said. Sikong has a good plan, so let's make an agreement with the prime minister and get things done. The humble minister obeys the order. After being recognized, Han Deng bowed his hands and left the palace quickly. Then Wang Jie invited Prime Minister Zhang Yan into the palace. These two people represent different positions, so Wang Jie interviewed them separately. Sure enough, as soon as Zhang Yan saw Wang Jie, he began to denounce the King of Anyang for treachery, harboring evil intentions, and treason. The intensity of the tone made Wang Jie wonder for a while, did Zhang Yan use this opportunity to warn him to beat himself? Wang Jie shook his head secretly, pretending to be angry on the surface and said, Creating chaos and causing harm to the country and the people, King Anyang's heart can be punished, his deeds can be despicable, and his people can be destroyed. Then Wang Jie covered his chest again, showing a heartbroken and sincere look. Ji Yu Wei has only one heart, 
and that is to hope that Emperor Zong will put down the rebellion as soon as possible, so that the country will be restored to safety, and the sun and the moon will be dark and the light will be restored. What Wang Zhe said, even Zhang Yan, who was originally talking with a gun and a stick, was slightly taken aback. Pursing his lips, Zhang Yan's tone softened. What His Highness said is also what I wish. Zhang Yan carefully looked at Wang Ji's expression, and could only see from the face of the other party that he was filled with righteous indignation and resentment, as if King Anyang had done something terrible. This made Zhang Yan feel satisfied, and then he heard Wang Ji's tone change, and sighed. The King of Anyang will suffer retribution if he makes a disturbance. If he spits on his people alone, he is afraid of being affected. Alas, the Prime Minister needs to work hard in the next few days, and work with Sikong to prevent the Yu Kingdom from suffering such turmoil, and the people suffer from disaster. Zhang Yan narrowed his eyes slightly, probably because he had figured out Wang Ji's attitude during the Anyang King's rebellion. It is indeed law-abiding and on the side of the Dokshuan Empire. My minister has taken orders, go and discuss the matter with Sikong immediately. Zhang Yan cupped his hands. Wang Zhe nodded, indicating that he could leave. However, after sending Zhang Yan back to do things, Wang Ji's expression changed, and he slowly exhaled. This disaster, I don't know how many heads Shuandi will have to cut off to stop it. Wang Zhe was slightly worried, but worrying was useless. If you don't have strength, you have to be at the mercy of others and go with the flow. Wang Zhe clenched his fists. After seeing Sikong and the Prime Minister, he picked up his sword again and continued to practice martial arts. Yan Fei was the one who was training with Wang Zhe. This blood-changing warrior was the best and most trustworthy warrior Wang Zhe could find. The so-called, one person attains the Tao, chickens and dogs ascend to heaven. After Wang Zhe became the queen of Yu, Yan Fei was promoted from a personal guard to a court martial artist, enjoying the fourth-rank treatment. It is enough to teach Wang Zhe to practice in the physical realm at Yan Fei's level. After strengthening his talent with the stone-born spirit monkey and the supply of martial arts secret food, under the influence of these three factors, Wang Ji's martial arts practice is also advancing by leaps and bounds. Yan Fei, who was dressed in court clothes, clapped his hands and praised. Your Highness, I see that your muscles are full and plump, like ripe rice in the fields, rich fruits in the mountains, and 670 pounds of strength in your arms. It can be seen that your highness has already achieved some success in training meat and is expected to be a good product. The corners of Wang Ji's mouth rose slightly when he heard this. Compared to being under house arrest in Kyoto half a year ago, he is now physically stronger, supporting his clothes, and his height has increased by 5 centimeters, reaching a height of 1.78 meters. He looked at his arms, the skin was supported by chunks of plump and strong muscles, full of strength. There are six realms in martial arts training, the starting point is the meat training realm, and the meat training realm is divided into three stages and three levels. These three stages are called refining, blood circulation, and solidification. After a warrior eats ordinary rice meat or more advanced martial arts secret food, he needs to use exercises to refine the essence of these foods and turn them into body nutrients. This is the foundation of martial arts training, and the stage is called, refinement. Afterwards, through the practice of Kung Fu, move the blood lock, and transport the absorbed nutrients to all parts of the body. This is the, blood transport, stage, which requires the warrior to master the martial arts Kung Fu. The more proficient the Kung Fu, the more efficient it is to move blood lock. The better you are, the faster your martial arts will improve, which is the basis of martial arts training. Ordinary warriors start practicing martial arts at the age of eight, and it takes about two years to truly master the tricks of refining essence and blood circulation, and lay a solid foundation in martial arts. The last is the, fruiting, stage, which compares human muscles to, fruits. After a long period of practice, the muscles gradually grow, the pores are strong, and the skin is filled. This process is like fruit trees bearing fruit, so it is called, fruiting, large. Generally speaking, after laying the foundation of martial arts at the age of 10, it will take about 8 or 9 years for the master stage. This is the water grinding of Kung Fu, and it is also a critical stage of human body development. After completing the master degree, the age of the martial artist has also reached 18 or 19 years old. He is young, full of vigor and blood, and has a solid foundation.
The next 15 years will be the golden period for rapid improvement in martial arts. This is the general process of meat training. Wang Zhe is a well-informed and knowledgeable person, and he knows all these basic knowledge. On this basis, Wang Zhe knew more. Both are in the meat training realm, so there is a difference between superior and inferior. Wang Ji's eyes flickered slightly. After completing the three stages, the muscles cultivated by the warrior can be subdivided into three grades. Just like the fruits produced by fruit trees are graded according to their size, taste, and appearance, the muscles produced by warriors also have grades. The meat training realm is the cornerstone of the subsequent martial arts realm. The better the martial artist's strength, the greater the potential for subsequent martial arts practice, and the higher the upper limit. If an ordinary martial artist completes, Jia Shuo, step by step, the strength of one arm can reach 800 caddies, but such, Jia Shuo, is not popular and cannot be rated as a grade. In the absence of opportunities, it would be the end of cultivation to the bone training realm. As for the real grades, there are three grades, divided according to the middle and upper. Inferior, towering like a rock, which means that the muscles of the warrior are as towering as a rock, full of oppression, and the arm strength starts with a thousand caddies. Medium, plate ribs and tendons, which means that the strong muscles hold up the skin membrane to fill the rib gaps, like iron plates, and the tense muscles are tied with blue tendons, like a coiled dragon. This is the symbol of a brave warrior, starting with an arm strength of 1,500 jin. High grade, raw jade and pure gold, which means that the muscles of warriors are like beautiful jade wrapped in stones, and also like unrefined gold ore. Using beautiful jade and red gold as a metaphor shows that such warriors have great potential and good foundations, and they will be refined in the future tempering, there is a great chance to become a martial arts master, and in the meat training environment, there is a single arm strength of 2,000 caddies. According to rumors, King Wu had the quality of raw jade and pure gold when he became a master. This is one of the reasons why he can surpass the realm of a master. Wang Zhe thought so, he had lofty aspirations, he wanted to become a martial arts master on the way of martial arts, and even break through, and even reach a realm that has never been seen before or since. Stage Goal The avatar of the stone-born spirit monkey has greatly strengthened my talent. To have such an opportunity, I must fight for it. With such a heart, after a short rest, Wang Jie continued to practice martial arts accompanied by Yan Fei. I saw Wang Jie's figure jumping up and down, moving around, stepping on all directions, and coordinating his hands, feet, waist and hips, with an indescribable agility. This made Yan Fei, who was watching from the sidelines, look a little surprised, and agreed. Your Highness, I see that you are skillful and agile in performing the, mountain-turning kung fu, and the charm you have obtained is already perfect. This so-called, mountain-turning kung fu, is a martial art training method that has been widely spread in the Yu Kingdom and has many derivative versions. Because there are many mountains in the country, especially in Miao County, there are mountain people who combined martial arts with production and created, mountain-turning kung fu. The person who first created, Fanchen Kung Fu, cannot be verified. It was hundreds of years ago, but, Fanchen Kung Fu, is indeed useful. With the development and innovation of dozens of generations, Fan Shan Gong seems to have nearly a hundred versions, large and small. The versions are different, even if they are both called mountain turning skill, the effect of practicing them may be very different. The most intuitive way to judge the quality of exercises is to look at the number of muscles that can be tempered by exercises. The more the number of tempering blocks, the more complete the meat training environment, and the better the effect of the meat training, which means the higher the quality of the exercises. Generally speaking, the version circulated among the people can temper about 150 muscle blocks, the version circulated in the army is 280 yuan, and the version mastered by some families with inheritance can also have 330 yuan. This volume of, Mountain Turning Kung Fu, practiced by Wang Zhe can focus on training the 331 muscles in the arms, legs, waist, chest and hips, which can be regarded as a high-quality meat training method. But in fact, this quality of meat training is still not worthy of Wang Ji's status. As princes and nobles, if they are interested in martial arts, then as a basic meat training method, at least 450 yuan is required to start. The better the quality of the exercises, the more effective the practice will be, but you must have the corresponding comprehension to practice high-quality exercises. Without a certain innate understanding, 
no matter how good the exercises are before you, you will not be able to understand or practice them. The result of strong training is often half the result with twice the effort, and the efficiency is low. It is better to find the equivalent of one's own talent to practice. And a month ago, Wang Ji's talent could only be said to be a little higher than ordinary people's level, and he could only practice the mountain turning kung fu of this quality. Even Yan Fei, the palace martial artist, made a training plan, Wang Zhe could practice mountain turning kung fu at the age of 18 and develop the rock-like quality that is the best expectation. But that was a month ago, not now. Wang Ji's talent is blessed by the stone-born spirit monkey. It was originally expected that there were still two years of practice progress, but Wang Zhe shortened it to three weeks. He practiced mountain turning kung fu to the level of proficiency in advance. As a martial artist, Yan Fei was most touched by the difference before and after. He sighed inwardly and came up with an explanation. Could it be that after leaving the capital and getting rid of the prison, his highness returned to the country to take over the big position, with an open mind and a clear mind, and a lot of accumulation, so the martial arts is fast. This is Yan Fei's guess. He is a warrior in the blood-changing realm, and he has personally experienced the influence of a warrior's mind on martial arts practice. When the heart is full of depression, the thoughts are blocked, and the blood is stagnant, it will naturally be difficult to practice martial arts. If the mind is clear and the blood is smooth, the effect of martial arts training will be intuitively improved. Using this reason to explain Wang Ji's changes makes perfect sense. Of course, Yan Fei also thought about whether it was the ghosts and gods that His Highness often talked about for help. But this kind of thing has neither precedent nor basis, and Yan Fei can't figure it out. But Wang Zhe practiced martial arts diligently, which really made Yan Fei feel happy from the bottom of his heart, thinking. Times come and go, hard times come and go, your highness is getting better and better. As early as when Wang Zhe was a proton in the capital, Yan Fei was by his side. The friendship is deep. For Wang Zhe, Yan Fei is also a teacher and friend. Wang Zhe is also happy to be recognized by Yan Fei. After practicing, mountain turning kung fu, Wang Zhe said to Yan Fei. Since I have mastered the mountain turning kung fu proficiently, then I will go to the martial arts pavilion to pick another kung fu method, keep improving, and make the quality of practicing meat and knots even higher. As the king of the Yu kingdom, Wang Zhe can not only mobilize internal funds as cultivation resources, but he can also freely browse through the Yu's domestic practice reserves. The mountain turning skill, practiced by Wang Zhe can only temper 331 muscles. It is tempering, not exercise. Martial arts practice is a whole body movement. As long as you are jumping and jumping, basically all the muscles in your body will participate in the activity, but the strength of each muscle is different. Martial arts training muscles will target and strengthen specific muscles, just like squatting exercises strengthen thigh muscles, curling exercises strengthen arm muscles, and Wang Ji's mountain climbing kung fu can only specifically strengthen 331 yuan at most, muscle. However, warriors have a total of 639 yuan, large and small. If you want to train the quality of the muscles, you must train every muscle as much as possible. Mountain turning kung fu has reached its limit, Wang Zhe needs to find other kung fu methods to train the remaining muscles as much as possible. Generally speaking, the more precious the martial arts skills are, the more they are controlled and kept privately by wealthy families, and they are rarely revealed to the outside world. It is not easy for people of ordinary background to obtain a few sets of good skills, but who told me that I am now the king of Yu woolen cloth? Wang Zhe is not worried that he lacks the skills to practice in the meat training environment. After Yan Fei learned of his thoughts, he also affirmed, Your Highness can practice the mountain turning kung fu to this level, and indeed you can practice the second set of meat training kung fu. When the talent is not enough, I am afraid that it will be miscellaneous but not perfect, which will hinder the practice. After you have enough talent, you can have more choices and go to the next level. In the afternoon of that day, Wang Zhe took Yan Fei to the Tibetan Art Pavilion in the palace to pick out exercises. Among the powers of imperial officials, Sikong, one of the three lords, not only had the power to supervise and assist the government, but also was also responsible for the collection and management of the country's seal books. This martial art is a strategic resource, so it is naturally under Sikong's management. 
Sikong Han Dang is Wang Jie's man, so there is no obstacle to fetching the books. It's just that Han Dang is now busy dealing with a series of reactions caused by King Anyang's rebellion, so he met Chong Shi, an official under Wang Jie's Sikong. The chief historian is an octogenarian with frosty temples and white hair. Wang Jie observed secretly with the eyes of mingling, and confirmed that the other party had the martial arts cultivation base of bone training. Although he was old and his blood was declining, he was energetic and strong. Everyone who can be an official has some martial arts skills. In this world where martial arts are flourishing, martial arts skills are equivalent to a diploma. If you want to be an official, you must have a minimum level of physical training, even if you want to be a civil servant. Wang Jie thought to himself. It is also because of this rigid requirement that it almost blocks the possibility of low-level people becoming officials. After all, three meals a day are coarse rice and coarse grains, and there is not much oil in the stomach. How can there be a chance to practice martial arts? There is only so much food produced in the field, and those who can practice martial arts are one in a hundred. As long as they have the level of martial arts, they will be respected accordingly. Wherever they go, people will rush to ask for it, accept it as an offering, and treat it as a guest of honor. Li Deng's supreme martial arts master is even more arrogant and disdainful of the world. I, the king of Yu, am still young, and my subordinates will not be too demanding on my martial arts realm, but if it takes a long time, I will inevitably be despised. Wang Jie felt a little bit in his heart. After the chief historian learned of Wang Jie's intentions, he cupped his hands and said, His Royal Highness wants to look up the meat training method, please also enter the martial arts pavilion with the old minister. Wang Jie nodded slightly, and accompanied Yan Fei. Under the guidance of the chief historian, the two came to the martial arts pavilion, where there was a bone practitioner martial artist on both sides of the gate. Seeing the boss and the king of Yu, the guards saluted respectfully. Wang Jie nodded in response. There is only one entrance to the Wujing pavilion, and there are no windows. After entering, the chief historian will light the lamps. The lights were bright, and Wang Jie saw that there was no antique pear wood bookshelf in the martial arts pavilion, but only a standing cabinet that looked like an iron wall. The vertical cabinet is about 3 meters high and 5 meters wide. There are about 200 drawers. Each drawer is padlocked and only marked with a number. If you don't know the meaning of these numbers, you probably don't know what is in the cabinet. In addition to the large size, there is also a statue decorated on the top of the cabinet. It is a tiger with a knife in its head, with its beard and hair stretched out, its eyes wide open, and its majesty and intimidation are visible to the naked eye. Wang Jie secretly opened the eyes of the mingling, and then he found that the iron cabinet was not ordinary. It's actually mixed with jade steel. Wang Jie thought to himself. Martial art is very developed in this world, powerful fighters punch like cannonballs, and their grip can easily crush rocks. For warriors with such a strong body, if it is a weapon made of ordinary metal, it will be like a bubble in their hands, and it will be easily crushed. Therefore, some special rare metals need to be mined, and then craftsmen use special forging techniques to forge them into weapons exclusively for warriors. Such rare metals are collectively referred to as, secret mines, which have a price but no market. They are a type of strategic resource and are subject to strict controls. As the king of Yu, Wang Jie also has some, secret ore, in his money, but the amount is very small. Wang Jie also thought about building weapons and armor for himself in the future. A warrior can have a set of excellent weapons and armor, and his combat effectiveness can be increased by more than five times. At this moment, the storage iron cabinet that Wang Jie saw in front of him was jade steel mixed with the secret mine. The characteristic of this kind of secret mine is its hardness and weight. On one side, the shield is carefully crafted from jade steel. Even a warrior with a ton of arm strength will not be able to hurt it even if it is repeatedly attacked. Wu Jing Pavilion uses jade steel to build a kung fu collection cabinet, and the weight starts at 100,000 caddies. If you are below the level of a martial arts master, then don't even think about tampering with this cabinet. Wang Jie commented in his heart, regarding the security work of Wu Jing Pavilion very satisfied. It is not a waste to use the precious jade steel to preserve important exercises and cheats. While he was scanning, the chief historian took out a key disc the size of a chopping board from his wide-sleeved robe. Hundreds of keys rang, and the chief historian asked, 
What kind of meat training method does your highness want? Wang Zhe didn't have time to think about it. More than 400 pieces of muscle, and then try to include all warriors with 639 pieces of muscle. The chief historian understood, and then took out the martial arts scriptures from the cabinet one after another as required. There are 15 books in total. Wang Zhe glanced at them and saw the name. Mountain Opening, Soldier Fighting Boxing Meat Training Uncut Edition. Beast Transformation. This part is more than 400 muscles, and there are 7 books in total. The exercises that temper more than 300 pieces of muscle are treasures in the collections of aristocratic families, and the collection of Yu Guo's library is even more advanced, there are actually 7 books, which shows that the background of Yu Guo is not bad. Then there are exercises that focus on strengthening the muscles in specific parts. This kind of exercise is to exercise some relatively small and inconspicuous muscles, or muscles that are not covered by other exercises, so that the muscles cultivated by the warriors are as comprehensive as possible, and the quality of the muscles is higher. There are eight books in this part. Walk in the mud, the muscle of the Achilles tendon toe. Wrapped around the fingers, the muscles of the fingers and wrists. Dragon plate column, pulling the muscles of the spine. Iron food art. Training masticatory muscles. Surgery in the room muscle strengthening. Quote dot quote. Wang Zhe looked at this unconventional exercise book, squinted his eyes, and fell into a subtle silence for a while. This technique. Wang Zhe pointed at the book, skills in the house, and made a confused voice. The chief historian has white beard and hair. As an elderly man, he stroked his beard and said flatly. According to His Royal Highness's request, the old minister has displayed the secret collection of the library. Yan Fei on the side explained in a low voice. Your Highness may not know that there are about a dozen muscles in the lower body. Most of the ordinary martial arts exercises are for exercising the limbs, chest, abdomen, back, and often neglect the muscles in the lower body. But this, Fang Zongshu, cough cough, exercise is this part of the muscles. Men are masculine, and the most important thing is kidney water. This exercise strengthens the muscles and strengthens the kidneys. It is very beneficial to practice. Quote. Wang Zhe frowned, and stretched out his hand to open the book, Skills in the House. There is no ugly picture in the eyes, but it is all exercises for strengthening muscles. They are all single-person pictures, and there are only single-person pictures in Fang Zongshu Strengthening Muscle. This is really a martial arts kung fu book for exercising muscles. I want to come to mountain turning kung fu, at the beginning, which was developed by the mountain people in order to climb mountains and increase production. The appearance of this, Feng Zongshu, is also combined with martial arts practice to improve the quality of life of men and women, which indirectly promotes the development of martial arts. Wang Zhe complained in his heart. Where there is demand, there is supply, and astringency can also promote technological innovation. Wang Zhe closed. Feng Zhang Shu, and put it back to its original place. With his memory, he can memorize the content of the exercises with a glance. Wang Zhe didn't intend to actually fight, Feng Zhang Shu, he really just wanted to practice martial arts. It's not that Wang Zhe lacks some manly qualities, but as the king of Yu, he has too many things to worry about when it comes to marrying a wife and establishing a queen. If you marry a wife, you will have relatives. The history of Wang Zhe Lengxing's hometown clearly tells him that foreign relatives interfering in politics will have an impact. Foreign relatives are on the one hand, and the other is Li Chu. The son born to the queen is the future heir of the Yu kingdom, the next heir. But Wang Zhe didn't want to come down from the position of King Yu yet. His stone fetus needs luck to support him. Optimistically, it would take at least a hundred years for the stone fetus to hatch. Wang Zhe can extend his lifespan and sit on the throne for a hundred years through the martial arts master. But his son, how can he have a hundred-year-old son? This is a trouble that can be understood. Standing up and standing up will disrupt Wang Zhe's plan and increase instability. As for those who are greedy for beauty, Wang Zhe is not a short-sighted person. He intends to focus on cultivation. Only by mastering absolute power can he enjoy the prosperity and beauty of this world with a leisurely attitude. Feng Zongshu can focus on strengthening muscles. There are a total of 32 yuan. Counting the 331 yuan of the mountain turning kung fu, and excluding the overlapping parts, there are 352 yuan. It is still far behind. 
Wang Jie's heart is to practice martial arts. Yan Fei, who is the instructor of martial arts, carefully explained to Wang Jie the advantages and disadvantages of the remaining 14 exercises. Kaishan Jin, focuses on practicing brute force. Your Highnesses, Mountain Turning Kung Fu, focuses on moving, moving, and jumping. I think that these two exercises can complement each other. You can attack when you advance, and you can escape when you retreat. Your Highness can give priority to it. Consider. Bing Fighting Fist, is a military technique, fierce and domineering. The, Bing Fighting Fist, in the collection of Wu Jing Pavilion is the best version, but I think that this technique is too domineering. It is easy to hurt warriors internally, leaving hidden dangers, His Highness needs to consider carefully. In, The Change of the Beast, although the barbarians' skills have merits, they practice savage fists and legs. I think that His Highness is the king, and he has a good manner. If you use barbarian moves, it will damage your manners, for fear of criticism. Walking in the mud, strength starts from the root, and the foot is the root of strength. Dragon Panji, the big dragon in the middle spine, must be emphasized. Yan Fei explained everything in detail, and Wang Zhe could hear that he was indeed analyzing the pros and cons of this basic exercise from his own perspective. At the end, Yan Fei made a conclusion. Waikin thinks, Kaishan Jin, is the best choice, supplemented with, Mountain Turning Kung Fu, Fang Zhang Shu, Walking in the Mud, Dragon Pan Ridge, Your Highness can practice 537 muscles, two years after half a year of work, it will become the muscle of a rock, and it is expected to be a rib. This is the training plan given by Yan Fei. Generally speaking, warriors will complete the flesh training state before the age of 19, and at the golden age of vigorous blood, go to the next state of skin training and bone training, and it is best to reach the state of muscle changing before the age of 35. Each age group has corresponding martial arts standards. After all, as the age grows, the warriors will age and their blood will decline. The hurdles that cannot be overcome when they are young will be even more difficult to overcome when they are old. Wang Zhe is now over 16 and a half years old, and has at most two and a half years to perfect his meat training environment. Time is not enough. Although Yan Fei has noticed the increase in Wang Ji's martial arts talent, Yan Fei is still very conservative and dare not overestimate Wang Ji's talent. So when making a plan, he didn't dare to take too big a step, and focused on stability. He only chose the most suitable one as the major of the seven exercises that can practice 400 yuan of muscles, so as to avoid chewing too much not bad, delaying the progress of practice. For the other eight minors, Yan Fei only chose the most suitable three, and didn't dare to make too many, so he set the lower grades as, rock-like, as the guarantee goal. But even so, Yan Fei felt that it was more reluctant. After all, Wang Zhe was not a martial idiot who could concentrate on practicing martial arts. He was still the king of Yu, who could devote all his energy to practicing martial arts. Yan Fei felt that this was not realistic. Yan Fei's mind is like this, if Wang Zhe can read minds, he will definitely make a joke from the bottom of his heart. Yan Fei, Yan Fei, I'm afraid you don't know what the spirit of heaven and earth is, the talent of the seed of gods and demons. Compared with Yan Fei's conservative plan, what Wang Zhe thinks is. I want it all. He calculated that these 15 books can be combined to exercise up to 607 yuan, and when excluding duplication, the best combination is, Kaishan Jin, Bing Fighting Boxing, and, Beast Transformation. There are 553 pieces of muscle in the superposition of door skills. Then there are, Fang Zongshu, Walking in the Mud, Dragon Panji, and, Wrapping Fingers, to make up another 54 pieces of muscle. As for the remaining 8 exercises, since their functions overlap, there is no need to add them. Relying on his talent, Wang Zhe of course wants the best. His goal is to make jade and gold. Of course, he wouldn't tell Yan Fei directly now, otherwise his martial arts master would feel confused and even panic. Wang Zhe just listened to Yan Fei's arrangement and said with a smile. What Yan Qing said is reasonable, so let's do it like this, but I'm curious about the other exercises, and I want to read the content and gain some knowledge. Reading a lot of books is beneficial for ingenuity. This is true for studying literature and practicing martial arts. Your Highness is free. Yan Fei clasped his hands. He secretly breathed a sigh of relief, and said to himself, Your Highness has always been a good person. Yan Fei really thought that Wang Zhe was just looking at it, 
but in fact, Wang Zhe opened the eye of mingling to quickly read the memory. Kaishan Jin, 10 lines at a glance. Soldier fighting boxing, with a photographic memory. The change of the beast. Hey, why is there still some entrainment in this exercise book? When Wang Zhe saw the third book of exercises with the eye of mingling, he found some abnormalities. In the southern barbarian area, there is a legend that there is a strange beast named Sheng, which looks like an ape with white hair, red ears and a human face, and is of great strength. It feeds on tigers, leopards, elephants and rhinoceros. In imitation of Yutai, Yuan Beast Change, was created as a martial arts method. This volume of, The Change of the Beast, collected in the Wujing Pavilion is the original. It is the harvest paid by the previous kings who conquered the barbarians. If your highness wants to read it, you must understand the barbarian's writing, otherwise you can only read the illustrations and not get the essence of it. Quote, the chief historian Wei Wang Zhe popularized the origin of this exercise and the key points of reading. This is the barbarian's martial arts technique, or the original one, recorded on a piece of soft and delicate milky white leather, except for the pattern on it, which records a monster like a white-haired gorilla, displaying its limbs and showing martial arts exercises, everything else is barbarian. Arts. In this skin scroll, mortal eyes can only see the exercises recorded on it, but Wang Jie secretly opened the eyes of the mingling, but found another mystery inside this skin scroll. There is actually a set of text hidden in this volume of exercises. Wang Jie mingling's eyes could see clearly that the entrained text was very light and thin, like a cicada's wing, with densely packed words and extraordinary images on it. This picture is not a person or a thing, but a scene, a picture of fire, water, wind and mines. The ferocity of the fire, the surge of the water, the fierceness of the wind, the generosity of the earth. And in the center of the four images is the golden thunder that splits the sky and the earth. Even if it's just a picture, one glance will give you a sense of intimidation. If you study it carefully, your mind will seem to be involved in this painting, fire, water, wind and mines, and join the natural movement of heaven and earth. These mysteries can only be seen by Wang Jie's mingling eyes, but on the surface this is just a book of meat training skills, the transformation of the beast. Because the text on this hidden text is also barbaric, Wang Jie couldn't understand the content recorded on it, but he thought to himself. Good things need to be hidden. The change of the beast, is 456 yuan for meat training, which is already a treasure in the meat training method. This mysterious text can use such a method as a cover to protect this the mysterious text, so it seems that the value of the mysterious text is higher than that of, the transformation of the beast. Wang Jie speculated in his heart, but on the surface he remained calm, and just asked. The chief historian reminded me that there are many conflicts between the Yu Kingdom and the Nanmen, and the barbarians have repeatedly invaded. As the king of Yu, he knows only a few words about the Nanmen. You should know a thing or two about Chinese characters and culture. The chief historian was taken aback for a moment, then asked after he realized. If your highness wants to learn barbaric language, you can find a doctor under Tai Changcheng. Among them are scholars who are good at barbaric language and can speak barbarian language. Wang Zhe understands that it is not surprising that there are people who understand the barbarian language in Yu. After all, the human are adjacent to each other. There are wars and commerce. After a hundred years, there will always be people in you who master the barbarian language. Tai Shiguan told Wang Zhe that he could go there to find a scholar who was proficient in barbaric literature, that is, an official under Tai Changcheng. For Wang Zhe, who is the king of Yu, this is nothing more than an edict. Studying Man Wen and watching Man Wu, I will bring this volume of Beast Transformation into the palace alone for reference. Wang Zhe said. Tai Shiguan pursed his lips. Advanced martial arts skills are considered strategic resources, and they must be powerful and meritorious to be open for reading. But this is only for reading, at most it is permission to copy copies. As for bringing out the original exercises, if your highness wants to take the original out, then I have a word, I hope his highness will take good care of the original and don't deface it. The Tai Shiguan cupped his hands, who called this the king of you. Taishi's reminder is reasonable. Good books and precious scriptures are national treasures. Ji will definitely take good care of them and return them to the Wujing Pavilion intact. Wang Zhe promised. Tai Shiguan was relieved now, and went to get Wang Zhe the mahogany box containing the exercises. 
Next, Wang Zhe read all the remaining exercises and memorized them. Among the 15 exercises, only, the transformation of the beast, has something strange. After leaving the Sutra Pavilion with the mahogany box, Wang Zhe sent an imperial edict to Tai Chengqing, asking Tai Chengqing to arrange for him a doctor who understands barbaric literature to enter the palace tomorrow. In the morning, I met with Sikong and the Prime Minister to discuss the rebellion of King Anyang. In the afternoon, I went to the Wujing Pavilion to pick up exercises. It was getting late now. Wang Zhe returned to the palace. Under the arrangement of the Xiao Fuqing, Wang Zhe will have dinner served after a cup of tea when he returns to the palace. The table was full of cases, Wang Zhe was sitting in the main seat, the maid was serving on the right-hand side, and Yan Fei was on the left side. Being a proton since he was a child, Wang Zhe has become used to eating and living with his guards, even if he becomes the queen of Yu, he still maintains this habit. Of course, for Yan Fei, being at the same table with Wang is a kind of courtesy and honor, quite respectful, and skillfully helping Wang Zhe to test the poison. Yan Fei is a blood-changing martial artist. The so-called blood-changing state has a characteristic. It washes the marrow and cuts the hair, refines the blood like mercury, has strong blood energy, lasts for a hundred years, and has strong vitality. If the body is invaded by external poisons, the blood-changing warriors will notice it immediately, and through manipulating the body, the poisonous substances will be excreted. It is perfect for Yan Fei to test the poison. But this is also a thing of the past. Now Wang Ji's mingling eye is more effective than Yan Fei's human flesh detection. Wang Zhe just glanced at the dishes to know whether they were poisonous or not. In this regard, he no longer needed to ask Yan Fei to shield him from the knife. Of course, Wang Zhe didn't tell Yan Fei these things on the bright side. After confirming that the dinner was non-toxic with the eyes of Ming Ling, Yan Fei took the first bite of all the meals. Well, delicious food, nourishing energy, your highness can eat it while it's hot. After trying one dish at a time, Yan Fei said. Good, let's serve. Wang Zhe raised his chopsticks. On the table are rice, vegetables, soup and meat. But the rice is blood crystal rice, the rice grains are plump and huge, like pomegranate seeds, crystal clear and rosy, and the rice is fragrant when you bite it. The dish is milk thistle, sliced and steamed, it has the texture of white jade. In terms of taste, it has a milky aroma besides sweetness. The soup is steamed, dragon and tiger soup jelly. The meat is ordinary pork, but it is also a Shangjun black pig that has been steered. It has been slaughtered for two and a half years. After a meal, Wang Zhe not only satisfies his appetite, but also feels that these meat and martial arts secret food are digested and absorbed by the stomach and intestines, and turned into nourishing body energy, along the blood, transporting nutrients to the limbs and bones, strengthening the muscles. Then he looked at the empty bowls and chopsticks on the table. Two bowls of rice, one dish of vegetables, two bowls of soup, and a whole pork knuckle. Wang Zhe silently counted his food intake, moved his eyes to the left, and looked at Yan Fei. Eight bowls of rice, two dishes, and one piece of pork. If you eat a lot, you will absorb a lot of energy. Wang Zhe secretly clutched his stomach, already unable to eat any more. Yan Fei is a blood-changing warrior, and his food intake is much higher than that of Wang Zhe, a meat-training warrior. This is how warriors practice, five points depend on practice, and five points depend on food. Being able to practice is a kind of talent, and being able to eat is also a kind of talent. If I can double my food intake now, the efficiency of martial arts training can also be doubled. Wang Zhe thought to himself. However, warriors absorb the essence of food by relying on their intestines and stomach to decompose food. The stronger the function of the intestines and stomach, the more they can eat. But if the intestines and stomach are so-so, no matter how much food is eaten, it will not be able to digest it, and it will even increase the burden on the internal organs. Martial artists can't overeat, and only after reaching the state of nourishing viscera will they significantly strengthen their digestive functions. It is said that when King Wu was only practicing meat, he could have the appetite to eat two birds and half pigs every day. No wonder people in martial arts good practice. Wang Zhe felt emotional. In terms of training, he has the stone embryo monkey to provide talent, and the country of you to provide martial arts skills. But when it comes to eating, Wang Ji's talent is average. Hiss, 
since my martial arts talent comes from my avatar, can the talent I eat also be strengthened by my avatar? Wang Jie narrowed his eyes slightly, and some thoughts popped up in his mind. Mind Calling Slate A phantom with a mottled vicissitudes of life appeared in front of Wang Jie. Wang Song Soul Strength 1.3 Stone Fetish Monkey Soul Strength 1.4 Through the Stone Slab Wang Jie divided his original 2.3 units of soul strength into one unit of soul, injected it into the stone-born monkey, and turned it into his second body. My main body has only 1.3 units of soul strength left, but the stone-born monkey, with the nourishment of luck, has grown from one unit of soul to 1.4 units in three weeks. Tisk, it is indeed a kind of god and demon. It is really hard to imagine how powerful it will be when it fades from the stone body and is born two or three hundred years later. Quote. Wang Jie sighed. Under the influence of this mysterious and ancient stone slab, one of his consciousness has two sets of souls and two bodies. Because after traveling to this world, Wang Jie was born as a human being, so he habitually called his human being his body and the stone-born spirit monkey his clone. This is just a habit of calling. In fact, Wang Jie's two bodies have no difference between the main body and the clone, and both bodies are him. It is the same consciousness, and whether it is a stone-born monkey or a human Wang Jie can call out the existence of Slate. Slate is bound to Wang Jie's consciousness, that is to say, even if Wang Jie dies as a human body of King Yu, his consciousness can still continue to exist as a stone-born spirit monkey, and he can still summon people who use Slate ability. I have two lives. It's just that the stone-born monkey is still a fetus that needs nutrients to develop. I have the status of the king to provide nutrients. As the status is more than the king, I also need the supernatural talents provided by the stone-born monkey to make me last forever. Control the country of you. The fate of these two bodies can be said to share weal and woe. If one is missing, the other will have a very difficult life. Quote. This is Wang Jie's judgment on the situation of his two bodies. Seemingly two lives, but actually one life, now these two bodies cannot be separated from each other. The development of the stone-born monkey is too slow. Although it can provide me with magical talents, I don't think it is enough. If there is a third clone, a third clone that can provide new talents to help me grow. After all, some feudal lords have rebelled now, and the Dokshuan Empire has also sent troops to suppress it. This is just the beginning. It is hard to say whether the future situation is safe or dangerous. Only by allowing yourself to grow faster and master more power will you be more confident settle down. Quote. Wang Jie thought to himself. King Anyang's rebellion stimulated Wang Jie's sense of anxiety. He had a strong urge to make himself stronger, whether it was martial arts practice or strengthening the national power. Wang Jie remembered the conditions of use of the slate. In addition to the necessary soul injection, it is also required that the object of the clone must be a rare and rare beast with a special body, and the beast must be in an embryonic state that has not yet been born. Exotic beasts, exotic beasts, what kind of exotic beasts can serve as clones and provide powerful talents, and where should I find them? Wang Jie was thinking about this while the maid was clearing the dishes. After the maid left, he had an idea in his mind. The country of you is not a small place. Mobilize people to inquire around, ask the people below to make a list and submit it, and then I will choose one by one. This is Wang Jie's idea. They are all kings of you. Of course, they have to make the most of the resources they have. Let the matter of raising manpower be handed over to the secretary of the Xiaofu, and let him use the money from his internal funds to do this matter. Wang Jie thought. After the maid removed the bowls and chopsticks, the servant brought up the pen, ink, paper and inkstone, as well as today's memorial. Wang Jie first drew up a pen to draw up an edict, and made a plan for the requirements for collecting rare and exotic animals, and then asked the servant to pass the edict to the minister of Xiaofu. This matter is considered to be arranged. Well, will there be rumors in the court that I, the king of Yu, raise strange beasts, and spend a lot of money to snare everywhere, waste money and energy, and spend extravagantly? Wang Jie thought of this possibility, and then smiled. Putting money in internal funds will not give birth to babies. I spend the money, but it creates jobs. I can harvest clones to strengthen myself, and the common people can generate income. This is a win-win situation. As for a little stigma, 
Well, on the basis of cultivating immortals and harming the country, it seems appropriate to add that raising animals hurts wealth. Quote. The corner of Wang Jie's mouth rose. After arranging this matter, Wang Jie focused on the memorial. After Wang Jie did not come to the court, the memorials of civil and military officials were processed by the Prime Minister and Sikong, and then submitted to Wang Jie for review. The memorials piled up a hill on the table. Just reading so many words and a bunch of scattered memorials related to the operation of the country made Wang Jie feel uncomfortable. Fortunately, his innate talent was strengthened by the stone-born spirit monkey. He could understand the contents of the memorial, and it was quite easy to understand. After drinking ginseng tea with blood from his mouth, Wang Jie picked up the memorial. Cultivating fields and opening up wasteland, building canals and bobbins to facilitate farming, requires the treasury to spend 300,000 yuan. This is the memorial presented by Prime Minister Zhang Yan. After Wang Jie read it, he looked up at the beams of the palace. A golden light burst out from the pupils, and the eyes of Mingling's eyes penetrated the palace, seeing the changes in the future celestial phenomena. 300,000, the newly added facilities are not enough. There will be less rainfall in the spring next year, so we need to repair some water conservancy facilities. With a swipe of his pen, Wang Jie added 100,000 to the 300,000. He's not too worried about the fiscal deficit. Under Wang Jie's guidance, the loss of the first batch of grain this year was very small, and he predicted that the weather will be good in the future, and the second batch of rice is likely to be harvested. The memorials that Wang Jie wanted to focus on were roughly these, mainly related to people's livelihood, and he didn't care much about other things. Anyway, Sikong Han Dang was in charge of worrying. But at the end of the government affairs, Wang Jie sighed. Water can carry a boat, and it can also overturn it. The foundation of my rule of you lies in the hearts of the people, and the luck of supporting the stone-born monkeys also lies in the hearts of the people. But according to the experience of my hometown in Lanxing, the rise and fall of the feudal kingdom basically depends on the people's hearts. Land Annexation The land is limited, and will be gradually annexed by local tyrants and landlords over time, and controlled by a few people, but the population growth continues. When most people have no land to plant, are displaced, and suffer from hunger and cold, the uprising will come. According to the experience of my hometown, the shortest time for land annexation is 50 years, and the longest is 300 years. Quote. One of Wang Jie's worries, logically speaking, the more people he controls, the more luck he can get, and the faster the stone-born monkey will grow. But the population is too large and the land is not enough to support so many people. Those who don't plan for the world can't plan for a moment. The king's vision must be long-term. Wang Jie sees that not only the rebellion of the immediate vassal kings, but also the possibility of future peasant uprisings. I have two solutions now. One is to adopt militarism in the future. It can not only consume the excess population through foreign wars, but also grab new resources through plunder to extend the life of the kingdom. But things like war are still relatively risky. Wang Jie has another way of thinking. Increasing productivity, developing industry, creating jobs, and converting excess population into workers can not only maintain population growth, but also improve the quality of life of the people, and greatly improve my luck. Wang Jie groped his chin, thinking about this possibility. For at least 50 years, let me try industrialization. Thinking of industrialization, Wang Jie immediately thought of textile machines and steam engines. It's time for me to recruit some craftsmen and figure out how to develop these production machines. Thinking of this, Wang Jie recalled those craftsmen who followed him to you. So he drew up another imperial edict to recruit craftsmen, prepare funds, and develop tools. After asking the servant to convey it to the young minister, Wang Jie suddenly thought of it. Cultivating immortals to harm the country, talking about ghosts and gods, snatching rare beasts, and then engaging in ingenious and obscene tricks. I am a fool, it seems that it is a certainty. Wang Jie laughed at himself. The next day, the slightly confused Xiao Fuqing entered the palace with two edicts. Collect rare beasts from Yueti. Recruit craftsmen into the palace to forge utensils. Xiao Fuqing frowned, and muttered to himself, once again refreshing his understanding of King Xin Yue. I don't like beauty, I like martial arts. Do not attend government affairs, worship ghosts and gods. Now I have to add two more, 
I love strange animals, and I like strange skills and ingenuity. But who told this to be the king of Yu? As a young minister, he is just the life assistant and personal housekeeper of King Yu. He murmured in his heart, but the Xiao Fuqing still prepared to list out the expense report and estimated how much it would cost to do these two things. $100,000. Wang Zhe took the report. In this large expenditure, it is mainly the expense of employing skilled craftsmen. About every time a craftsman is recruited, he needs to pay 7,500 yuan as an annual salary. Wang Ji's ambitions for industrialization are quite big, carpenters, blacksmiths and even some alchemists are needed. It doesn't cost much to collect Lu Jun Beast. After all, it's just asking people to go out to inquire about the news, find clues, and then gather the information. But Xiao Fuqing also reminded that it might not cost much to find a rare beast, but it would cost a lot of money to raise a rare beast. This is the same reason I bought a car in my hometown. It costs a fortune to buy a car, and it also costs a fortune to maintain the car, and even more money to maintain the car. Wang Zhe complained in his heart, but he didn't care, and signaled the young minister to do so. Cultivating new avatars is very important to Wang Zhe. If you can get a powerful talent, it is worth spending millions of dollars. Wang Ji's attitude is firm, and the young minister can only take orders to do things. In the morning, under the care of Yan Fei, Wang Zhe practiced Kaishen Jin. Kaishen Jin can train 437 muscles, of which 302 muscles overlap with mountain turning kung fu. Wang Zhe was able to quickly familiarize himself with the effects of mountain breaking skill based on the mountain turning technique he had already mastered, coupled with his own talent. Wang Zhe recalled the key to practicing Kaishen Jin. The practice of Kaishen Jin also has its special features. It actually requires thousands of caddies of rocks as training equipment. Opening up mountains and opening up mountains is a method developed by the Yu people hundreds of years ago in the production practice of digging mountains and breaking rocks, digging mines and building roads, combined with martial arts practice, so in the process of practice, it is indispensable to use heavy rocks as a practice aid. Before dawn, Yan Fei went to choose rocks suitable for Wang Ji's practice, and after Wang Zhe finished seeing the young minister, he also came back with the rocks. Your Highness, I choose six pieces of mountain rock, 2,000 jin, 2,500 jin, 3,000 jin, two pieces each. Yan Fei said. There are six rocks of different weights and sizes on the training ground. At a glance, Wang Zhe knew that this was his next weapon training equipment. There are 37 movements in the practice of Kaishen Jin, but when simplified, there are only three key points. Move, break, break. These three characters originally represented the whole process of mountain people digging mountain passages, breaking rock walls, breaking boulders, and transporting gravel. However, after combining martial arts and evolving it into a kung fu method with both body training and killing effects, these three words have a new definition. The word, moving, is the foundation of physical training. How can you not have a lot of strength to move mountains and rocks? Move the words to train the muscles of the body, and you need to use moderately heavy rocks for weight-bearing practice. This is the part of training your body and increasing your strength. At the same time, it also has the technique of wrestling. And the words, broken, and broken, are the parts of the killing technique and the ultimate move. Break, with the strength of breaking through mountains and rocks, to break through the enemy's skin, flesh, muscles, bones and armor. It is an extremely powerful and powerful move. The word, broken, is a deadly move. After hammering the enemy's defense, the broken rock will be thrown out. If it hits the enemy's limbs, the bones and muscles will be broken, if it hits the chest and abdomen, the internal organs will be shattered, and if it hits the facade, the brains will be splashed. In short, this, Kaishen Jin, has both the effects of body training and killing. After seeing it in the Wujing Pavilion, Yan Fei felt that it was the most suitable exercise for Wang Ji's current shortcomings. Before the practice started, Yan Fei reminded, Kaishen Jin is intended to open mountains and break rocks, and there are many differences from mountain turning kung fu. The former works hard to open mountains, while the latter moves and is dexterous. Your Highness should pay more attention when practicing. This is the second set of exercises practiced by Wang Zhe. Under the influence of the first set of exercises, Yan Fei was worried that there would be a possibility of practicing and fleeing, 
so he watched closely from the side, and he would speak out whenever something went wrong. Remind and correct in time. This, Kaishin Jin, is also a first-class meat training method. With His Highness's talent, it should be able to master it within a year. Yan Fei estimated in his heart. But next, Yan Fei will be surprised. The first thing I practiced was the move the word Ju. I saw Wang Zhe standing in front of the lightest rock of 2,000 caddies. His single arm strength was 670 caddies, three quarters of the weight of this mountain rock. Therefore, if you want to move mountains and rocks, you need skills, not only the strength of your arms, but also the strength of your shoulders, chest, back, waist, hips, legs, and feet. 137 pieces of muscle. Wang Zhe took root on horseback, moved his blood and luck, aroused his body muscles, and clasped his fingers on the rock. Ah, as soon as he drank in his mouth, the muscles of the chest and back of the limbs were all swelled, the tendons of the wrists protruded, and the back was bent like a tight bow arm. Wang Zhe thought about the key point of Kaishin Jin, and he slowly lifted the 2000 Jin mountain rock. During this process, Yan Fei stared at him steadfastly. Martial arts practice is inherently risky, especially practicing some difficult martial arts skills. He was afraid that His Royal Highness would have an accident, and if something went wrong, he would burst into the speed of a blood-moving warrior and stepped forward to help in time. With a sigh of relief in his heart, Yan Fei didn't relax until Wang Zhe perfectly completed the first movement of moving characters and put down the rock. No longer worrying about it, and recalling Wang Ji's practice just now, Yan Fei discovered something unexpectedly. Hey, His Highness's gesture of moving stones is actually exactly the same as that described in the exercises. Yan Fei was slightly surprised, but at this time Wang Zhe turned his head and asked. Yanqing, did you make any mistakes in practicing, Kaishin Jin, for the first time? Your Highness here, Yan Fei pursed his lips, and after thinking about it for a while, he found that there were still very subtle differences between Wang Ji's exercises and the records in the exercises just now. But this difference does not mean that Wang Zhe practiced wrongly. Because everyone's physique is different, and there are big and small differences. It is impossible for another person's martial arts exercises and experience to be perfectly applied to another person. So if you can use other people's martial arts into the most suitable martial arts for you, it is called mastery. Yan Fei just discovered that Wang Ji's movements are different from the description of the exercises, but this is not a wrong practice, but a right practice. This is a sign of mastery. But this is the first time your highness is practicing, Kaishin Jin. Yan Fei felt incredible. There is nothing wrong with this humble official. Yan Fei pursed his lips, but he still said very conservatively. After all, this is the first action of Kai Shan Jin, and he wants to watch the follow-up and give a comprehensive evaluation. Oh, let's continue. Wang Zhe showed a clear look. There are a total of 13 movements in the move the word Ju. After completing them one by one, Wang Zhe felt that the muscles of his limbs, waist and back were congested and tired. It's like throwing a forging furnace to heat a block of iron until it's red, and then putting it on an anvil as if beating it for forging. Wang Zhe exhaled, moving blood and luck, mobilizing the essence in the body, nourishing the growth of muscles, and said in his heart. The cultivation effect brought by Kaishin Jin is much more obvious than that of mountain-turning Kung Fu. Clenching his fists tightly, Wang Ji's eyes moved from 2,000 caddies of rocks to 2,500 caddies, and finally to 3,000 caddies. If you want to lift a rock of 3,000 jins calmly, you need to have at least 1,100 jins of arm strength with one arm. If you have an arm strength of 1,100 jins, then you can cross the threshold of, like a rock, and move towards the ribs and tendons are advancing. Wang Zhe clenched his fists, consciously full of energy, and continued to practice the move word formula after his physical strength recovered. Yan Fei watched from the side, but the more he paid attention, the more confused he became. Why is your highness so proficient in, Kaishin Jin? This is indeed the first time your highness has practiced, Kaishin Jin. Yan Fei was secretly confused. During the whole process of Wang Ji's cultivation, he didn't find any mistakes. This is not to say that Yan Fei, a blood-changing martial artist, has poor eyesight, but that Wang Zhe was able to master it when he first learned, Kaishin Jin. Does it take a year to master? It is clear that two or three days will be practiced. 
It would not be surprising for a martial arts genius to be able to do this, but Yan Fei was very clear about Wang Jie's talent in the past. After thinking about it, Yan Fei found a possible explanation. Could it be that His Highness fits the Kaishan Jin technique, so it's like a god's help when you learn it at the beginning? It's like letting a warrior with kendo talent practice legwork and boxing, then his kendo talent will be buried, and on the contrary, he will shine if he practices swordsmanship. Yan Fei thought that this was the explanation, but it made him doubt himself even more. Could it be that I didn't find a suitable cultivation method for His Highness before, so I delayed His Highness's talent? As soon as this thought came up, Yan Fei not only doubted himself, but even blamed himself a little. In such an atmosphere, Wang Zhe completed his morning and afternoon practice. Meals are also martial arts secret food, which replenishes the body's energy and speeds up the efficiency of practice. After practicing martial arts, two doctors who were proficient in barbarian literature were arranged by Tai Chengqing to enter the palace. If Wang Zhe wants to learn, Yuan Beast Change, and understand the mysterious pictures and texts hidden in, Yu Beast Change, he needs to understand Manwen. The so-called doctor is an official who specializes in a certain skill or masters the teaching of Confucian classics. The two doctors of Manwen told about the total of 1,500 characters in Manwen, and they were pictographic characters, which were widely used in the daily life of the barbarians. After Wang Zhe had a little understanding of this, he began to study Manwen. That's two hours of study time. But with Wang Ji's super talent of never forgetting, basically the doctor explained a barbaric text, and Wang Zhe memorized one. It is not his talent that determines the upper limit of Wang Ji's learning speed, but the doctor's teaching speed. In just these two hours, he has mastered the meaning and pronunciation of 500 commonly used barbaric words, which is why the teacher taught them slowly. After the two doctors left, Wang Zhe took out the wooden box containing the animal skin scripture, The Change of the Beast. The chief historian told me to keep the original exercises properly. Thinking of this, Wang Zhe asked the maid to remove the ink, water paint and other things on the table and case, and even move the oil lamp a little farther away. After finishing all this, Wang Zhe first read the superficial martial art, Change of the Beast. On the basis of mastering 500 commonly used barbaric scripts, he was able to understand most of this martial arts exercise, and commented. It is indeed a meat training method that can be compared with Kaishin Jin instinctively, but the style of boxing and kicking is a bit too barbaric. Wang Zhe complained that the so-called beast looks like a white-haired orangutan. To practice this technique, you have to imitate the orangutan's every move. It's no wonder that Yan Fei would comment, this exercise is detrimental to the majesty of the king. He just read half of the beast change, and then Wang Zhe opened the eyes of the mingling to spy on the mysterious barbarian text hidden in, Beast Transformation. The Baman Sutra prays for Nerha Wen. Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly, and reacted. The, Baman Sutra. Prayer to Nerha An, a book used by wizards and shamans to pray to the gods. Wang Zhe frowned. He knew that in the relatively backward civilization of the southern man, there existed primitive worship, and the religion was called Bahmanism, so there were also figures such as witch doctors and priests. They all used the superior meat training method of beast transformation as a cover. I thought there was some more powerful exercise secret book hidden, but it turned out to be a religious scripture. Wang Ji's mood was delicate, but at the same time, something was wrong. According to what the two doctors said, this is the main god of the barbarian Bahmanism, the god of nature. According to Bahmanism, Nerha is the consciousness of the world. It has no specific image, but it controls the elements of heaven and earth. Water, fire, wind, earth and thunder, this is why there are patterns of these five elements in this scripture. Bahmanism reveres and worships thunder, regards it as the wisdom of Nerha's thinking, and regards the natural thunder as a kind of revelation. Wang Zhe remembered some myths and legends about Bahmanism. This is a religious book, is it worth keeping it in such a secretive way? Wang Zhe was quite puzzled. With some inquiring thoughts, he opened his eyes of enlightenment and tried to interpret the content of the scriptures as much as possible with the 500 barbaric scriptures he currently has. A long time of deep blessing and wisdom, tracing back to the source and praying to Nerha to give the breeze to dispel confusion, to revive the fire and give it fruit, 
to cultivate the soil and strengthen the roots, to enlighten all the bright minds, to lead the way with thunder, to regenerate spiritual wisdom, and to live in Nerha forever in the platform of knowledge bosom. Wang Zhe roughly understood it. The meaning of this scripture is probably to pray for the god Nerha to give him divine power. Hiding such scriptures in the transformation of the beast, you don't really think that god Nerha will give power to believers. Wang Zhe was puzzled. He didn't quite believe it. After all, how could there be gods in this world? Hiss, there really are gods and demons in this world. Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly and couldn't tell the authenticity of this scripture for a while. The eyes moved to the picture in the center of the scriptures. There are water, fire, wind, earth and thunder in the picture, and the five elements symbolize Nerha, a god without a specific image. The picture is extremely vivid and full of charm, as if you can look at plum blossoms to quench your thirst. When you see the element of water, you will hallucinate that your skin is wet. When you see the element of fire, you will imagine that the flame is scorching hot. The elements on the picture are real and can be felt especially the golden thunder in the center, just a glance, there is a kind of thunder that hits the soul directly, bringing a shocking feeling. Not to mention anything else, this painter is really valuable, Wang Zhe admitted. But Wang Zhe doesn't think that this is just as simple as a picture. There was a bright golden light in his pupils, and a circle of halo emerged, like double pupils. Through changes, to spy on ghosts and gods. When I looked at the dragon bone last time, I was able to spy on its demeanor before it was alive. Then, can I see something special in this, Baman Sutra, this time? Wang Ji's thoughts moved slightly. He knew that if he spied on some powerful existences, he might suffer some mental shocks. As the saying goes, if you don't die, you won't die. This, Baman Sutra, is weird, and it seems risky to spy rashly. Wang Zhe pondered for a while, groping for the animal skin with his fingertips. It's just that a month ago when I peeped at the dragon's bones at the bottom of the lake, I was shocked mentally, but at that time I had just obtained the Eye of the Bright Spirit. Time has passed, and I am now the king of you. Under the nourishment of luck, the Eye of Mingling has been promoted, and I have a stronger ability to spy. Moreover, no matter how miraculous the barbarians, Baman Sutra, is, it is even more miraculous than the remains of the evil dragon, but it is just a hidden scripture. Quote, Thinking of this, Wang Zhe made up his mind. Don't use my human body to see these things of unknown origin, use the stone-born spirit monkey clone to see them. Wang Zhe rolled up the animal skin and looked at Yan Fei who was exchanging blood cross-legged in the corner of the palace. As a blood-changing martial artist, Yan Fei's practice method is no longer limited to muscle training like Wang Ji's, but a more in-depth refinement of blood. Combine the absorbed essence with the blood, continuously purify and remove impurities, the blood is like mercury plasma, the hair is cut and the marrow is washed, and the body is reborn. At the same time, with a huge network of blood vessels that run through the whole body of the human body and control the blood of the body, it is possible to further cultivate the organs of the human body. After all, all organs of the human body need blood to transport nutrients. Reaching this level is the completion of the blood exchange level, and one can prepare to break through to the visceral nourishment level and become a martial arts master. The practice of changing blood does not look at appearances, whether it is sitting, standing or walking, as long as the essence and blood are extracted, it is considered practice. Wang Zhe was working in the palace, and Yan Fei was in the shadow of the corner. While listening to the movement, the special exchange of blood also allowed him to seal off the openings of his body, without revealing the slightest breath or sound. With sound and breath, he could hardly find out what was going on in the corner. There is such a person. It wasn't until Wang Zhe spoke that Yan Fei responded. Yanqing, I'm a little tired, let's go to the courtyard with me. Yan Fei opened his eyes, a flash of light flashed in his eyes, then restrained himself, stood up and replied. My minister is here. Accompanied by the guards, the maid lit the lamp, and Wang Zhe walked all the way to the courtyard where the stone fetuses were placed. Whether it is Yan Fei or the maid, it is not surprising that His Highness often comes to hang around the sacred stone to worship the gods. It's just that this time it's a little bit special. Wang Zhe sat at the altar with his back facing the sacred stone, holding up the scroll and flipping through it. 
Yan Fei didn't care much about Wang Jie's actions, he just paid attention to whether there were strange noises in the surrounding corners, in case gangsters attempted to assassinate him. The little maid wanted to yawn, but she held it back abruptly. I still feel a little resentful in my heart that my highness is handsome and gentle in conversation, but why is he not close to women? The girl's family wandered around in front of her every day, but she didn't see his highness's intentions. No matter what the people around were thinking, after Wang Jie unfolded the skin scroll, the spirit monkey conceived in the stone womb woke up a little bit of wisdom from the state of sleep, slowly opened his eyes, and two golden lights emerged. Blocked by the stone womb, outsiders can't see the magic inside the stone womb, but the spirit monkey can see the outside world with a pair of divine pupils. Compared to using my human body to display the talent of the monkey pupil, it is better to use the monkey's body. Wang Jie thought to himself. He borrowed the monkey's talent with the slates, other transformation method, which is of course not as good as the original one. The spirit monkey opened his eyes, and through the camouflage of stone tires and animal skins, he directly saw the main body of the Baman Sutra, and in the picture depicting the five elements of water, fire, wind, mine, and mine, he glimpsed the true source. The next moment, the spirit monkey's consciousness followed the content of the picture, as if he was in the boundless world. At this time, the heaven and the earth are just opened, everything is not yet born, and there are only water, fire, wind and soil in the world. The flood is surging, the wind is howling, the veins are rolling, and the magma is gushing out. The world is in chaos, like an ignorant fetus. It wasn't until the first thunder appeared in the sky that consciousness appeared between the heaven and the earth. As if ordered by the thunder, the chaotic world began to have order, and everything grew and gradually reborn. The consciousness of the stone-born spirit monkey entered the scene of the first opening of the heaven and the earth, and seemed to be integrated into it, gathering and dispersing with the ups and downs of all things. Boom, like a bubble popped, the illusion of the beginning of the world disappeared. If ordinary people fall into such a grand scene, their hearts and consciousness will be integrated into the evolution of heaven and earth, they will lose themselves and become muddled. The stone-born spirit monkey has the nature of a god and demon, and the fantasies generated by a scroll of pictures are like bubbles that can be easily burst. However, after experiencing the Baman Sutra and evolving fantasy, the stone-born spirit monkey, who was born knowing it, immediately understood the essence of the things he had just experienced. Healing Method Wang Jie was slightly taken aback. This is the realization of the stone-born monkey, and it sees that the essence of the Baman Sutra Praying to Nerhan is a method for cultivating the soul. By visualizing the posture of God Nerha, the wizards of Bahmanism let their souls grow stronger and stronger in the process of experiencing the opening of the world, the fire, wind and thunder of the earth and sea. Um, so the essence of the so-called praying for the blessings of the gods is this. There are actually techniques for cultivating the soul in this world. Why haven't I heard of it before? Wang Jie was puzzled. Martial arts are prevalent in this world. Before Wang Zhe came into contact with the stone fetus, the theory of ghosts and gods was regarded as absurd, and he had never heard of any exercises for cultivating the soul and refining the gods. Maybe it's because I was under house arrest in Kyoto before, so I had limited contact with people and things. Wang Zhe thought. It is an indisputable fact that a soul cultivating method appeared before his eyes. Cultivating the soul can increase the strength of the soul. Wang Jie narrowed his eyes slightly and called for, slate, showing. Wang Song, Soul Strength, 1.3. Stone Fetish Monkey, Soul Strength, 1.4. Spirit monkeys are the species of gods and demons. As long as they grow normally, the strength of their souls will continue to increase. However, my human body has no way to significantly increase the strength of my soul. Perhaps this method of nourishing my soul can make up for the weakness of my human body, short board. Wang Zhe thought so, and recalled that the stone-born spirit monkey had interpreted another part of the information from the Baman Sutra. Cultivate the soul, nourish the soul, refine the essence to transform qi, refine qi to transform the spirit, refine the spirit to return the emptiness, refine the emptiness to combine the Tao. Use the essence of the flesh and blood to strengthen the strength of the soul so that the soul can be separated from the flesh for a short time, that is, to the point of, coming out of the shell. Then the soul travels between the heaven and the earth, absorbing the aura of the heaven and the earth, 
the essence of the sun and the moon, so that the soul will further grow and transform into a divine soul. Finally, when the soul reaches a certain level, it can replace the human heart with the heavenly heart, refine the emptiness and combine the Tao, control nature, and use the power of nature to evolve the earth, sea, fire, and wind, and repel thunder and lightning. When is something to practice? It seems to be a complete cultivation system for cultivating the soul, with a high upper limit, no wonder it will be spent a lot of time, and it will not hesitate to use beast transformation as a disguise and it must be kept under cover. Wang Zhe reacted. But then he realized something. But how can there be heaven and earth aura, the essence of the sun and the moon in the world? Where can the soul go to get nourishment after it leaves the body? Wang Zhe complained in his heart, and it was also because of the end of the world that his stone fetus clone was on the verge of extinction. I seem to understand why I haven't heard of the practice system of cultivating the soul before. There is no way to practice emotions to the next level, they can only be stuck in the two steps of refining essence and transforming qi, refining qi and transforming spirit, and the subsequent steps of cultivation will not work. Chapter 31 Cultivating the soul requires resources, just like practicing martial arts requires food. In the early stage of cultivating the soul, one can strengthen the soul with the essence of the body by means of refining qi and transforming qi into spirit. But when the soul grows to a certain limit, the ordinary body cannot provide enough nutrients for the soul to continue to grow. At this time, the soul needs to get out of the flesh shell and go to the heaven and the earth to absorb the spiritual energy and essence. But the problem is that in the Dharma ending world, there is basically no aura. That is to say, if you want to nourish your soul in this era, the only source of nutrition is your own physical essence, which can be consumed to strengthen the soul, but the physical essence can also be obtained through martial arts and eating food. Therefore, according to the current environment, the premise of cultivating the soul is to practice martial arts, and if you practice both soul and martial arts, it will definitely slow down the progress of martial arts training, and it will also delay the practice of cultivating the soul. It is difficult to have both. Quote. This is what Wang Zhe wants to understand. The soul cultivation system is no longer suitable for the current era. But for me, increasing the strength of my soul is equivalent to obtaining more avatars, and the talent of powerful avatars can help my growth. Thinking of this, Wang Zhe became a little tangled. The soul cultivation system is definitely useful, but it will slow down the progress of martial arts training. What Wang Zhe needs most now is personal might. One more system, more ways, and more means. I can consider cultivating the soul system, but I must grasp a certain degree. For example, my main goal now is to hit the martial arts realm and lay a perfect foundation in the meat training realm. It is not advisable to spend energy and time elsewhere. After I finish, Ruyu Yuhunjin, I can consider starting to cultivate my soul. Quote. After careful consideration, Wang Zhe made a decision. With a slight movement of his mind, the god pupils of the stone-born spirit monkey retracted and fell into a dormant state again, accumulating vitality. For an embryo, the more frequent the resuscitation, the more unfavorable it is for development. If it's not a big deal in the future, try not to let the stone-born spirit monkey do anything. Wang Zhe thought to himself. Putting away the transformation of the beast, in his hand, neither Yan Fei nor the palace lady with the lantern noticed the movement of the stone fetus. Almost, let's go back to the palace, there are still some memorials I haven't read. Wang Zhe said. People around obey. Day and night, in the morning, the minister of the Xiaofu came to report. His Royal Highness, I have collected merchants who sell martial arts secret food on the black market, please take a look at them. This was the first thing Wang Zhe asked the Xiaofu secretary to do. It took less than a week for the gray area to purchase martial arts secret food, and there was news. Wang Zhe took the memorial and opened it. Blood crystal rice, 6,230 yuan per stone, two stones and six buckets shipped. Blood crystal rice, 5,730 yuan per stone, four stones and three buckets shipped. Milk thistle, 6,180 yuan per basket, two baskets shipped. Five-year wild blood ginseng, 530 yuan per plant, 34 plants shipped. The memorial records the quotations and supply quantities from various black market sellers, among which the wild blood ginseng comes from smugglers traveling across the two places. Tisk, according to U-State's purchase price last year, 
one stone of good-looking blood crystal rice will cost 3,220 yuan. Putting it on the black market, the profit has doubled. It is simply a huge profit. Wang Jie shook his head slightly, as expected of a black market, the asking price is really black. Since the asking price was too high, considering his own financial resources and specific needs, Wang Jie gave a reply. How about this? 15 stones of blood crystal rice, 7 baskets of milk essence thistle, 30 blood ginseng plants for 5 years, and 10 plants for 10 years. Under the premise of meeting the amount, try to ensure the quality as much as possible, and spending a little more is acceptable. Quote. Xiao Fuqing received Wang Jie's needs, and after a quick calculation, he gave a rough amount of expenses. $150,000. Xiao Fuqing opened his mouth, he knew very well how much money was in the internal funds, there were 5 million copper coins in the internal funds, and the expenditure of 150,000 was equivalent to 3%. Of course, copper coins can only be regarded as working capital, although there are other valuables in the internal funds, such as gold, silver and silk, which are quite valuable and worth tens of millions. But I can't stand Wang Ji's one-time expense of 150,000. This is an additional expenditure, enough for the palace to support a hundred court ladies and eunuchs every year. Rao is the face of Xiao Fuqing slightly changed. More than a month ago, the minister of the Xiaofu still remembered what Wang Jie said, it is not advisable to extravagance and everything is business as usual. As a result, after a month, he started to spend a lot of money. This is still just practicing martial arts. The young master knows that Wang Jie still wants to raise animals, and also wants to recruit craftsmen to develop some strange skills. The minister of Xiao Fu more or less wanted to persuade him. Why don't you change your hobbies, your highness? It's really not a lot of money to be lucky with the maids, or to have a banquet or something. Your highness, although you are poor in culture and rich in martial arts, the martial arts resources are enough. There is still a lot of money in the internal funds, and some can be collected from the local government every year. As far as I can see, the food in the internal funds is enough for your highness to practice martial arts. Quote. The minister of the Xiaofu tactfully persuaded, but Wang Jie shook his head and said. No, it's not enough. With Gu's heart towards martial arts, the food stored in the internal funds is not enough for Gu's needs. This is not Wang Jie's extravagance and waste. This batch of food is not just for him to eat, he is preparing for his second clone. The essence of martial arts secret food has a strong effect on the cultivation of warriors, and it also has a strong effect on the growth of rare and exotic beasts. Of course, if the minister of the Xiaofu knew that Wang Jie wanted to use the precious martial arts secret food as feed for his pets, then his vision would probably go dark. Fortunately, he doesn't know now. Seeing that His Highness was so persistent, Xiao Fu Ching didn't try to persuade him any more. He was just a part-time worker, and His Highness used his own treasury, so he could only sigh silently. It's only 150,000 yuan, and it can still maintain the stability of domestic funds. After explaining the purchase of grain, Wang Jie thought of the astonishing profits from selling martial arts secret food on the black market. Or, after I start the cultivation of martial arts secret food, on the premise of meeting my own needs, sell the excess part in exchange for other useful resources, isn't this a magic weapon for making money? This is a new idea that Wang Jie came up with. But he is quite rich now, he has enough things, and he is not in a hurry to make money, he just has this idea. If you want to start the planting industry, you still need to arrange a time to go to Shanghu Lake and get the mud from the buried dragon. Wang Jie narrowed his eyes slightly. After he succeeds to the throne of Yu Wang, it can be said that Vientiane has been renewed. He can use a lot of resources in his hands, and he wants to do many things, and all of them can bring great benefits. Step by step, first improve your own martial arts realm, at least you must practice to the point where you can get the most perfect martial arts foundation, and then consider other more things. Wang Jie nodded slightly, personal might is always the most reliable reliance, and this is the case in martial arts. He puts most of his energy into practicing martial arts. Time flies, two months have passed. The war in the north, the rebellion of King Anyang and the conquest of Emperor Zan are in full swing, and other vassal kings have made small moves both overtly and secretly due to the situation. The world, which has been in peace for three years, seems to be showing signs of turmoil. However, 
the chaos in the central plains still did not affect the Yu kingdom in the south, nor did it interfere with Wang Jie's practice. He practiced, Kaishin Jin, steadily, and he was able to uplift a 3,000 Jin heavy mountain rock with the moving words, and his single arm strength reached 1,200 kilograms, breaking through the threshold of, as towering as a rock. In the courtyard of martial arts, Wang Jie was wearing a dark purple dress with leather wristbands on the cuffs. Compared with the thin boy who was under house arrest in Kyoto more than half a year ago, Wang Jie's wrists were obviously stronger at this moment. The muscles of the chest and shoulders are strong, supporting the upper body into a proper, inverted triangle, shape. The black and red striped girdle tightened around the waist, like a solid stone bridge. Robust, but not bloated, Wang Jie has a tall and straight figure, with arms weighing 1,200 jin, and there is about one cubic meter of rock in front of him. His ten fingers were like hooks, clasping the depression on the side of the rock, the muscles on his back were arched like a dragon, his bulging muscles supported his robe, and his whole body burst out with strength. Wang Zhe pulled up the 3,000 jin rock with ease. When the rock was put down, Yan Fei praised. His Royal Highness has already practiced the word-moving tactic of, Kaishan Jin, to perfection, and it is a certainty that it will be as tall as a rock. Wang Zhe smiled slightly, and patted the dust on his palms. It was not in vain for him to study hard for two months. This is the improvement of strength brought about by the practice of moving characters. There are also matching posi ju and broken ziju. Looking at the rock, he clenched his fist with his right hand, and the leather wristband that restrained his wrist was tightened by the bulging muscles. Wang Jie snorted softly, and punched out. The edge of the fist collided with the hard rock, making a dull sound. Nothing could be seen from just one punch. Wang Jie slammed his bow left and right, and punched four times in succession. After the fourth punch, the huge rock shattered and turned into broken rocks of different sizes with sharp edges and corners. Wang Jie aimed at a palm-sized rock, and stomped it suddenly, making a, crack, sound from the broken rock. When he raised his foot, the broken rocks with sharp edges and corners were spread on the ground like flour at this moment. This is the effect of Posi Ju and Sui Zi Ju. If this kind of destructive power is hit on the enemy, the lethality can be imagined. The practice of, Kaishan Jin, has been completed, Yan Cheng, how about practicing, being fighting boxing, next? Wang Jie asked. Yan Fei pursed his lips, showing a helpless smile. He really didn't expect that Wang Jie could practice martial arts so fast. Originally, he estimated that it would take at least a year or even more time for Wang Jie to complete, Kaishan Jin, but he never thought that Wang Jie only used a quarter of the plan. The practice was completed in less time. Yan Fei was surprised, but also happy. Back then, he accompanied Wang Zhe under house arrest in the capital. At that time, although Wang Zhe didn't say it clearly, he was eager to gain strength and practiced hard, but the result was mediocre depression. Yan Fei saw it in his eyes, and as a guard, he also felt the same. But talent is an invisible threshold, if you don't have it, you don't have it. At that time, Yan Fei could only worry. But right now, Wang Jie is making great progress in martial arts, and he has gained a lot. Yan Fei is really happy for His Highness. The minister took the order. After the minister prepares for one or two, I will arrange the practice of, soldier fighting fist, for His Highness on a certain day. Yan Fei laughed. According to Wang Jie's current practice progress, Yan Fei really felt that the plan he had given was too conservative and needed to be readjusted. This is not a qualification like rock climbing, it is clearly the quality impact of rushing to the ribs and tendons. Wang Jie nodded, and when he became interested, he smashed the remaining rocks in the courtyard in one go, and the servants in the palace carried and cleaned them. With success in martial arts, it stands to reason that Wang Jie should be happy for many days. However, when he finished, Kaishan Jin, and was thinking about exercises such as, Fang Zongshu strengthening muscle, walking in the mud, Dragon Panju, and other exercises, the Prime Minister submitted a memorial. The Frontier Army came to report, and the barbarians were different, fearing to invade. The barbarians are planning to harass and invade the Yu Kingdom. Wang Jie frowned. It is now mid-September, and with the help of his ability to recognize celestial phenomena, the second batch of rice in Yu country this year has matured smoothly and all of them have been harvested. This time is when the people of the Yu Kingdom are the most affluent. 
There is a lot of food in the family, so the barbarians will covet it. Maybe it has something to do with the Central Plains Emperor Shwandi's suppression of the rebellion. The barbarians took advantage of the tendency of chaos, so they planned to take advantage of it. Wang Ji's face darkened, he depends on luck to nourish the stone fetus, and he can't see the people under his rule being harassed and the people's hearts broken. He issued an edict, call the prime minister and Sikong into the palace. The two court ministers came one after another and sat down in the study. The barbarians have changed, what do the prime minister and Sikong think? Wang Jie asked. This matter was reported by Zhang Yan, of course he had a draft, and on the matter of resisting the barbarians, Dok Xuan and the Yu Kingdom stood on the same stance, and they both had the attitude of never letting the barbarians go north. I only heard Zhang Yan say, according to what I see, grain and grass should be transported, troops should be dispatched, money and silver should be rewarded, and the Taiwei and 9,000 soldiers and horses should be sent to repel the barbarians. Wang Zhe didn't respond directly, but just looked at Han Dang. What I see is the same as the prime minister, don't let the barbarians invade the people of our country. Han Dang clasped his hands. The so-called brothers fought against the wall and defended against their insults from outside. In terms of barbarian invasion, there was no gap between the two parties. Wang Zhe nodded slightly, thought for a while, and then made a decision. Conscripting the people, transferring the national treasury, and preparing supplies to transport to the front lines are major events, which are handled by the prime minister. Sikong is strict with government affairs, and understands the hearts of the people, so as not to disturb the hearts of the people. Quote, His arrangement was to let Zhang Yan be in charge of raising supplies, transporting food and grass to the front line, and such big things as food and grass transportation, of course, he had to find a high-ranking person to take care of it. On the other hand, Han Deng took over the power of the prime minister and managed the court when Zhang Yan left the court of Yu Kingdom. Sikong was also equivalent to the deputy prime minister and had this power. Logically speaking, there is no problem with Wang Jie's arrangement. But after hearing the arrangement, Zhang Yan thought a little more. If he left the court, maybe Han Dang would do something secretly. But on the other hand, if he wasn't in charge of transporting the grain, wouldn't it be Han Dang transporting the grain? Wouldn't Han Dang want to contact the Taiwei? The Taiwei was in charge of the military power, and when the two began to have close contact, it was Zhang Yan's turn to be vigilant. Squinting his eyes slightly, thinking about it, Zhang Yan cupped his hands and said. The humble minister obeys the order. It is more important to keep military power in check. Seeing this, Wang Zhe thought that it was as expected, smiled slightly, and gave Han Dang a wink. While Zhang Yan was out, under the premise of ensuring internal stability, he had to do some tricks to find out about Zhang Yan. Han Dang received the gaze and showed a knowing smile. The delicate arrangement is done silently. For this, Zhang Yan was also well aware, secretly thinking that the king of Xinyue really had means, and he made the best use of the situation, and the conspiracy he presented was irresistible. I am highly valued by Emperor Zan, but I should not belittle King Yu. Be cautious in your words and deeds. Zhang Yan reminded himself secretly. Just when he thought so in his heart, he heard Wang Zhe say again. The invasion of the barbarians is a major event, and it must be taken seriously. I will choose a day to worship the gods and divination for the benefits. Zhang Yan was taken aback for a moment, and realized that King Yu wanted to ask ghosts and gods again. Han Dang pursed his lips, trying not to lose his composure. You can't complain, you can't laugh, this is your own king. The official circles of the Yu state spread the news that when the barbarians had a sign of invasion, my king went to worship the gods and ask the ghosts and gods for divination. Well, civil and military officials are no strangers to it. Even before the prime minister dispatched food and went to the frontier, my king mysteriously handed over a secret letter to the prime minister, saying that it was a sacred revelation to be handed over to the Taiwei, which would help the Taiwei quell the chaos. When Prime Minister Zhang Yan received this secret letter, he couldn't help feeling suspicious. Is this using the mouth of the gods to conspire with the Taiwei in private? It's not that Zhang Yan has persecution paranoia, but sitting in his position, he has to guard against this move. 
If the Tai Wei was called to rectify the soldiers, in the name of resisting bandits, but he was actually on the side of the Qing Emperor, and he was on the side of the separatist regime, wouldn't Zhang Yan be the one who wanted to be cleared of the chaotic ministers and thieves? Taking advantage of the war in the Central Plains, the Yu Kingdom broke away from Dokshuan and re-separated one side. Therefore, Zhang Yan secretly tested Wang Zhe, asking what was in the secret letter, like a restless rabbit. In the end, Wang Zhe had had enough fun and allowed Zhang Yan to open the secret letter without playing tricks. As a result, Zhang Yan saw that the content was not an affair between the monarch and his ministers, but the weather forecast for the south of Miao County within four months. It's just the weather forecast, Wang Zhe explained meaningfully. I have heard that soldiers, the great affairs of the country, must be investigated. The scriptures say five things, one of which is heaven. The sky is yin and yang, cold and heat, and seasons. In the current barbaric crisis, living alone in the deep palace, unable to share the joys and sorrows with the soldiers and civilians, I deeply hate it, I can only pray to the gods, pray to the ghosts and gods, and send down the law of eliminating disasters and disasters. I also ask the Prime Minister to bring this divine revelation and give it to the Taiwei. There is no disaster in the country of Yu, and the monarchs, soldiers and militia are all in peace. Quote. Wang Jie's words were sincere and sighing, and Zhang Yan felt embarrassed when he heard it. The feeling is that he has become a villain himself, and he has judged the belly of a gentleman with the heart of a villain. Zhang Yan sniffled, and then he settled down, and set off to the frontier with the divine revelation, money and food, and recruited civilians. As soon as the prime minister left, Sikong would be able to control the court, and Han Deng followed Wang Jie's instructions to investigate Zhang Yan's placement of nails in the Yu Kingdom under the condition of stabilizing the court. But Zhang Yan is not the only one representing the Dokshuan Empire, trying to control the Yu Kingdom. Just after Han Dengjian did a single investigation, Wang Zhe discovered that some local gentry from the Yu Kingdom had contacted Zhang Yan in private. After Wang Zhe found out, he wasn't too ashamed, but just sighed. There is an old saying in my hometown, a century-old dynasty and a thousand-year family. These aristocratic families don't care who is the master of you. People are always attracted to strength, seeing the strength of the Dokshuan Empire, they have yearning heart, thinking of betting on both sides, so that the family's prosperity and wealth can last for a long time. The Chao family in Shangxi, the Zhu family in Sanxi, and the Shu family in Wanhao are all human beings. HMPH, in other words, dogs can't change eating shit. Quote. Wang Zhe shook his head, his heart was as clear as a candle, and with the historical background of Blue Star's hometown as his experience, Wang Zhe knew the mentality of these aristocratic families like the palm of his hand. He does not have the mental cleanliness of, loyalty is not absolute, but it is absolutely disloyal. He just counted with his fingers and encountered potential threats. The Central Plains was in turmoil, the southern barbarians invaded, and the gentry were alienated. In the end, Wang Zhe concluded, I'm still not strong enough. Summarize the current predicament as the lack of strength. Wang Zhe took a deep breath, summoned the Xiao Fuqing, and asked him to summarize and present the clues about rare birds and animals that he had collected in the past two and a half months. Originally, he planned to complete the training of soldier fighting fist and reach the level of slab ribs and tendons before starting to prepare for the second clone, but now the situation is changing and Wang Zhe also wants to change his plan. The clues collected by the secretary of the Xiaofu. Chasing thunderbirds, chasing wind and electricity, nesting in the north and resting in the south, spring comes and goes north, autumn comes and goes south, eating its meat can improve eyesight and clear fire. The black-eyed tiger, a tiger, is a fierce beast that haunts the mountains and forests of Miao County. The roar of the tiger shakes the sky, and its claws are divided into gold and iron. Its bones are one of the main ingredients of dragon and tiger soup. The snake, with a body length of up to two feet and three feet, has the thickness of a bull mouth, swallows yellow cattle in its mouth, eats golden iron, has tough scales, and is highly poisonous. It is raised in Lui County, Miao County. Meat tendons are one of the main ingredients of Longhu soup. Skin can be used as armor, poison can be used as medicine. The iron-eating beast, black and white, with a mouth that breaks golden jade, palms that open mountains and rocks, haunts Pai County in Hangzhou State. Golden silkworms eat purple mulberry, 
drink golden water, spit out gold thread and copper thread, weave clothes and weave armor. They are impenetrable by water and fire, and hard to penetrate by swords. They are raised in Sangyu County, Miao County, and are used as armor for the army. Golden-footed centipede, nine feet long, its feet are like saws, its jaws are like pincers, and its body is like iron. It lives in the deep mountains of Nanmen. It is a GU weapon used by barbarians. Xiao Fuqing is good at handling affairs and has given a lot of clues. In addition to the native species of the Yu Kingdom, there are also surrounding areas, such as the iron-eating beasts in the Hengjiang Kingdom to the west of the Yu Kingdom, and the GU insects in the Barbarian Kingdom to the south of the Yu Kingdom. However, in recent years, I don't plan to go abroad. When choosing species, it's better to choose the native species of Vietnam. Thinking so, Wang Zhe listed species outside of Yu as the third class, which was considered last. The rest are native to Vietnam. The wild beasts in the mountains are not easy to find, but there are traces of the species that have been artificially raised. Wang Zhe also ranked wild beasts such as the Thunderbird and the Black-Tempered Tiger as the second class, and they will be considered next. Finally, there are exotic animals raised in captivity. This is the breeding industry of the Yu country, such as domesticating pigs, sheep, cattle and horses into livestock that can generate economic value, and the Yu people also domesticate other rare animals that can bring value. Snake, Golden Silkworm, Miao County still has these two pillar industries. Wang Zhe sighed a little. There are two counties in Yu State, and Shang County is a land of fish and rice, which is rich in grain and accounts for 65% of the country's population. There are many mountains and forests in Miao County, and there are many uncivilized lands. Mountain wild insects and beasts often appear, and they bear the brunt of harassment by barbarians. But Miao County has minerals and rare animal breeding. The breeding industry of the viper and golden silkworm is very mature, and I can use the least amount of energy to obtain the embryos of these two exotic animals. Wang Zhe chose his two goals, but he thought about which one to choose. In terms of economic value and breeding scale, the golden silkworm is much higher than the snake. The gold and copper wires produced every year are not only very popular in Vietnam, but also exported to other places, earning hundreds of dollars for the country every year. Thousands of foreign exchange. But the avatar I want is not for making money, the strength and potential of the avatar, and whether it is useful or not to share the talents with me are the most important things. Regarding the snake, judging from the information provided by Minister Xiaofu, this snake is characterized by eating, it can swallow food the size of a ox in one bite, and its skin is very tough, and its stomach can digest gold, silver, copper and iron into a part of the scales, and has a very strong venom. Eat, does martial arts practice require a big appetite? If I can share the devouring talent of the cobra, I can increase my food intake several times, wouldn't my martial arts practice speed be several times faster? Quote, it was Wang Zhe who was able to think of the powerful talent given to him by the snake for the first time. He circled the name of the snake on the list submitted by the minister of the Xiaofu, and then went to summon the minister of the Xiaofu to enter the palace. Ji Yu intends to raise a cobra in the palace, does the young minister have any opinions? Wang Zhe asked. Hearing this, Xiao Fuqing recalled what that snake was, his eyelids twitched, he quickly lowered his head, and reminded. Your Majesty, the asparagus is a poisonous snake with a cold temperament and strong poison. It may hurt the lives of people and animals if it is raised in the palace. The asparagus has a huge body and matures in three years. Its strength is no less than that of a martial artist in the meat training realm. This snake also has the method of shedding its skin and growing, once it sheds, it grows stronger once. It is rumored that the snake king has the strength of a bone training martial artist, and if he is entangled by this snake, even the steel and iron bones will be smashed. Even Louis County, where asparagus is raised, has built walls and fences to isolate the inside and outside, and there are warriors in the Yijin state who wear hard armor, hold snake forks, sprinkle realgar, and take care of them carefully so they dare to raise asparagus. As for what His Highness said, you should think twice about raising snakes in the palace. Quote. Think twice. Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly. What Xiao Fuqing said is not unreasonable, it is really that this snake is too dangerous, and it is kept in the palace, which poses too many safety hazards. However, the more the Xiaofu minister emphasized the danger of the snake, the more excited Wang Zhe became. 
It turns out that the upper limit of this snake is a bone training martial artist. Once it sheds its skin, it becomes stronger once. It is not as good as a kind of god and demon like a stone-born monkey, but it is also considered a rare beast, not to mention that it will be shared with me. Talent, that is, the snake itself has not bad combat effectiveness. Besides, this clone is me, can I still harm me? Quote. Xiao Fuqing's description is so comprehensive, and Wang Jie's idea of using a snake as a clone is even more firm. Young Fuqing's words are justified. I've chosen Gu's favor. Ji Yu has made up his mind to raise this snake. Xiao Fuqing opened his mouth and fell into a daze for a while. What did I just say? How can you do what you want? Realizing that Wang Jie decided to raise snakes, Xiao Fuqing hurriedly said. Your Highness, think twice, think twice. No, you don't need to think twice, it's the snake. Wang Jie said with a nod. He thought for a while, and then said, Plan an itinerary for me. I'm going to Louis County alone, and I'll pick a snake egg and come back by myself. Xiao Fuqing felt his eyes darken, his beard trembled slightly, and he could not help but imagine the absurd scene of dancing with poisonous snakes in the future palace. Oh, by the way, there is one more thing. Wang Jie clapped his hands and added, on the way back, I will pass through Shangxi, and I will arrange two Yijin warriors who are good at water, so I will go to Shanghu alone. The minister of Xiaofu didn't know what Wang Jie's arrangement meant, but just raising snakes in the palace was enough to make him dizzy. Regardless of the mood of Xiao Fuqing, Wang Jie is looking forward to this trip anyway. Not only to pick the second clone, but also to salvage some of the silt from the bottom of the Shanghu lake, so as to cultivate the secret food of martial arts. On the other side, Miao County, Yian Town. This is the military center of the Yu State, located at the southernmost tip of the Yu State, it is a barrier to protect the Yu State and resist the barbarians going north. With Yian Town as the center, the entire line of defense stretches from Lui Mountain in the west to the outer sea in the east, with city walls and passes. On weekdays, the Yu Kingdom and the barbarians live in peace, and the pass can be open to pass, and traders can travel between the Yu Kingdom and the barbarians for trade. The barbaric land is rich in products, and the trade income is high. Of course, if the barbarians don't plan to do business and plan to rob them, then the gates will be closed, and they will be ready to beat up this group of barbarians who have no clue. This is the case after the autumn harvest in the Yu Kingdom this year. The barbarians invaded and the gates were closed. In the Taiwei's mansion in Yian Town, the old Taiwei Zhao Ruinian is 70 years old, but his complexion is rosy, his skin is firm and wrinkle-free, and his figure is strong and straight. Only his slightly gray temples can make people realize that the years are on him left traces. This is one of the places where martial arts masters are different from ordinary people. Zhao Rui received the Prime Minister Zhang Yan who escorted the grain and grass and dispatched the husband, and his attitude was neither humble nor overbearing, very calm and casual. As early as when the world was in dispute and the princes were fighting in chaos, he followed the Lao Yu king to separate the side. What kind of big wind and waves have you never seen a hero? Zhang Yan was just Xuandi's eyeliner in the Yu kingdom, Zhao Rui didn't take it too seriously, and he was very familiar with receiving food and supplies. Zhang Yan could also feel the arrogance of this Yu general, but he didn't have too many complaints in his heart, because he was really powerful, with both martial arts cultivation, military power, and prestige. What Zhang Yan can hope most is that the old Taiwei can be stationed honestly in Yian town to resist the barbarians for the rest of his life. The two have different ways of life and do not conspire with each other, they only talk about business affairs. Zhang Yan wanted to learn from Zhao Rui the specific reasons and circumstances of the Nanmen invasion. The spies came to report that it was a civil strife among the barbarians. The old barbarian king was assassinated, and the new barbarian king took over and replaced him. In order to rectify the internal forces of the barbarian tribe and establish prestige, he raised manpower. There were about 3,000 barbarian soldiers and seven leaders. The city wall invaded our country harassed the people, and looted property. Zhao Rui spoke unhurriedly, he seemed to know the internal situation of the Nanmen and the barbarian attack plan like the back of the palm of his hand. Zhang Yan heard the words and had a general understanding of the situation of the barbarians. At the same time, he secretly marveled at Zhao Rui's method of planting spies. He could not only know the internal situation of the enemy, 
but also accurately know the number of enemy troops, the number of leaders, and the attack route. Sure enough, he is a martial arts master who can be killed from the war-torn era, the commander of the army, and he saw thunder in a silent place. Zhang Yan secretly sighed. At this moment, he also knew in his heart that since he knew the specific preparations of the barbarians, it would be much easier to fight the battle. At the same time, Zhang Yan also remembered Wang Ji's entrustment, took out the letter from his sleeve and said, Zhao Taiwei, I have a letter from the king of Yu in my hand, which was entrusted by his royal highness to pass it to you. His highness said that it will be of great use in resisting the invasion of the southern barbarians. Zhao Rui, who was originally calm and relaxed, frowned when he heard the words, a little surprised. Zhao Rui's impression of Wang Zhe still stays on the day when he succeeded to the throne. Since that day, he has been stationed in Yian town. Although they have exchanged official documents, the two have never seen each other again. Now that there is a letter, Zhao Rui is inevitably interested. After receiving the letter, he opened it and saw that it was not too small, the size of a tablecloth, and silk fabrics such as silk were used as the letter paper, and the cloth alone was worth $3,000. The words on it were densely packed, and the recorded information was about tens of thousands of words, which made Zhao Rui even more curious about what Wang Zhe was trying to tell himself, and actually wrote so many things. When he unfolded the entire letter paper, spread it on the general's case, and glanced at its contents, the original pair of slightly playful tiger eyes gradually emerged dignified. This is the celestial change in Miao County and the south of Miao County for a hundred days, covering the entire defense line. Zhao Rui was surprised, his eyes froze, and he remained silent, just standing in front of the table, carefully reading all the changes in the astronomical phenomena recorded in the letter. Standing aside, Zhang Yan can quite understand Zhao Rui's mood at the moment. Is there really anyone who can predict changes in the sky for hundreds of days, covering a whole county? After pondering for a long time, Zhao Rui finally asked in a complicated tone. Your Highness, are you inviting ghosts and gods again? Yes, His Highness knew that the barbarians were coming, and he was worried about the state affairs and people's livelihood, so he opened the altar, and there was this divine enlightenment. Zhang Yan explained one or two. Zhao Rui frowned, looking a little cold and handsome. With the vision of his martial arts master, he really doesn't believe that there are any high-ranking gods in this world. He just thinks that Wang Zhe should have some geniuses and abilities, which can discern celestial phenomena. The so-called theory of ghosts and gods is nothing more than an excuse. Wang Zhe, the king of Yu, has a vision. With this weather forecast, it is equivalent to God standing on the side of Yu country during the war. Zhao Rui can completely dispatch troops and generals according to the changes of the sky, and advance and retreat smoothly. Thinking of the beauty, Zhao Rui couldn't help holding up the letter and said, Okay, your highness has the heart of Qicheng, and can summon the gods to guide us. With this help, our army can predict the enemy ahead of time, and set up a situation well informed, and we will definitely be able to pacify the barbarians. Zhang Yan was on the side, and he could hear the approval of King Xinyue in Taiwei's words. As the eyeliner placed by Emperor Zan, he just felt helpless about it. If he is playing tricks, Zhang Yan feels that he has two brushes, but how can he use tricks to break his ability to discern celestial phenomena? Forget it, the monarch and ministers of the Yu Kingdom are also doing their duty, but they are all in their own places, and there is no sign of rebellion. Zhang Yan shook his head in his heart, there was nothing he could do about Wang Ji's method. He took care of the grain and grass escort in Yian town, played the role of supervising the army, and faced the invasion of the barbarians together with the old captain. On the other side, the minister of Xiaofu has already arranged a travel plan for Wang Zhe. Starting from Yuwang Palace, go to Lui County, Miao County to pick a snake egg. On the way back, you will pass through Shangxi County and go to Shanghu Lake. Although it was a plainclothes trip without too much extravagance, the Xiaofuqing still arranged three vehicles, one grain vehicle, three guards, one cook, two maids, and two handymen. The things in the court are also arranged, and they are all handled by Sikong. My status is unusual now, and it takes five days to prepare for a simple trip. Wang Zhe complained. It is really not easy for him, the king of Yu, to go out of the palace once. He has to explain all aspects clearly, the itinerary plan, the notification from relevant officials, and many scattered things. 
you have to be accompanied by a guard when you travel to prevent being stabbed. Someone accompanied him for protection, it must be out of safety considerations, but it was more or less unfree, Wang Zhe murmured in his heart. As the king of you, I am destined to be watched by people every move I make. Whether I want or not, I can't move freely. Fortunately, I will be able to have a second clone in the near future, just a snake. Who cares? With anticipation in mind, after preparing everything, Wang Zhe and his party traveled in a low-key manner. The body shakes, the wheels rattle, the horseshoes rattle. Wang Zhe lifted the curtain of the carriage, and the street scene outside could be seen receding. At this moment, he is dressed in a white background with a black border and a straight train, only decorated with a simple jade pendant, he looks like a young man who is out for fun. The convoy drove to the gate of the capital, and the gate guards asked for a pass to leave the city. The driver of the chariot let the horse calm down, and at the same time another warrior got out of the chariot and handed out the exit certificate from his sleeve. The driver was a Yi Jinjing warrior named Yi Yang with a masculine appearance, and another named Chen he was also a Yi Jinjing warrior, short in stature and ordinary in appearance. These are Wang Ji's two guards on this trip. In addition to their martial arts cultivation, these two people are also good at water. In addition to guarding the mission along the way, Wang Zhe also planned to let the two go to the bottom of Shanghu Lake to salvage mud. The guard at the city gate took the exit pass, squinted his eyes slightly, looked at the official seal on the pass, recalled the explanation given above, and hurriedly gave way to the convoy. A group of people drove out of the capital, followed the official road, and walked into the countryside two hours later, away from the prosperity of the capital and the court officials. After being in a cage for a long time, I can return to nature. The corners of Wang Ji's mouth rose slightly, feeling unspeakably relaxed. He even became interested and asked the guard to hand him the reins, and he drove the car himself, galloping on the road. When it's meal time, the cook will set up a stove to light a fire, and the handyman will unload the grain and meat from the grain cart. Wang Zhe didn't forget to practice martial arts when he traveled, and he also brought a lot of secret martial arts food to ensure the efficiency of martial arts training. He just traveled all the way to the mountains and rivers, practicing martial arts all the way. It took only 10 days to reach the destination Louis County, and Wang Ji's arm strength increased to 1300 caddies. It looks like I can reach the standard of ribs and tendons in less than two months. Wang Zhe pressed his ribs, which should have been ribs, but under the filling of his strong muscles, there was a faint tendency to integrate them into one body. He was quite happy, and after settling down in Louis County, he called three guards, wanting to go out to see how the people in Louis County were under his rule. This should be considered a private visit by me, right? There won't be any hooligans or dudes trying to provoke me in the street. Thinking of this kind of thing, Wang Zhe pursed his lips. There are blood-changing warriors and tendon-changing warriors around him as guards. Unless he is a martial arts master, who can bully him without long eyes. What's more, when Wang Zhe was walking on the street, he still opened the eyes of the mingling secretly. He could clearly see how much energy, what state, and what was hidden in the body of passers-by on the road. Assassination. Impossible. With curiosity, Wang Zhe walked around the streets and alleys of Louis County. Yan Fei seemed to know Wang Ji's previous hobbies, so he paid attention to the delicious food on the street. Not to mention, this is really what Wang Zhe likes, but he has to save his appetite for martial arts secret food. These street snacks can only be tasted briefly. After walking all the way, the folk customs and law and order in Louis County seem to be quite good, and the city appearance and appearance are quite good. Of course, this is only superficial, and Wang Zhe is not without doubts. Did the officials of Louis County know the news in advance through their official connections, and knew that I, the King of Yu, would come to Waifu for a private visit, so they hid all the bad sides of Louis County? After all, I walked all the way, and I was actually a beggar I haven't seen it yet, only Dokshuan's Kyoto is not so clean. Wang Zhe complained in his heart, secretly thinking that this face-saving project was too obvious. Just as he was thinking about whether he should take a deeper look, Wang Zhe suddenly noticed a coal picker by the side of the road. Wang Zhe frowned, and there were two golden lights in his eyes. Under the inspection of the eye of mingling, this coal-picking man has normal energy in his body, and he is an ordinary man without much martial arts cultivation. 
but what Wang Zhe paid attention to was a ridged stone in his arms. Under the light of the eyes of mingling, the ridged stone revealed a strange breath different from essence. Sharing the talent of, born to know, Wang Ji's eyes are equivalent to an analyzer, and he can understand the essence of the breath with just a glance, and relevant information pops up in his mind. This is the filthy aura, a strange aura mixed with yin, filth, turbid thoughts, and residual consciousness. Why does this guy have such a thing on him? Wang Zhe was immediately alert. Wang Zhe paused and frowned slightly. Among the three warriors accompanying him, which one is not a warrior with keen senses and eyes and ears? They immediately noticed the changes in their highness, and immediately became vigilant, paying attention to all abnormalities around them. Master, Yan Fei asked in a low voice. Of course, Yan Fei didn't call Wang Zhe his highness when Waifu went abroad. Wang Zhe raised his hand to signal the three of them to pay attention, while he narrowed his eyes slightly and looked more carefully at the coal miner about ten meters away. Under the eyes of my mingling, this person is just an ordinary villager except for the ridge stone in his arms. He should have just met by chance. And that ridge stone, has a filthy air, but the breath it is very weak, and it is difficult to have the power to kill. Wang Zhe judged in his heart that the strangers he met on the road would not pose a threat to him. At the same time, he was curious about where this, filthy air, came from. If it weren't for the talent of, spirits of heaven and earth, to recognize it, Wang Zhe had never seen, filthy air, before. Wang Zhe raised his chin, pointed to the cook not far away, and said to Chen He, the guard beside him. Chen He, go over and talk to that coal miner, and say that you want to buy the edge stone in his arms. You can pay the price yourself. If he agrees, you can ask him again, whether he will have nightmares at night in the past few days. Hearing this, Chen He was slightly taken aback, but this was his royal highness request, of course he followed suit. When Chen He walked over, the three of Wang Zhe stood still and watched. In just three minutes, Chen He came back with the prismatic stone. Wang Zhe stretched out his hand, and Chen He put the edge stone in his palm. Returning to your son, the civilian husband admits that he has been haunted by nightmares every night in recent days. Chen He replied. He was also curious in his heart, he had heard that His Royal Highness the King of Yu had the ability to communicate with ghosts and gods, how could he see the details of the man now? Martial arts masters like them can't do these things. However, Wang Zhe has no idea of an answer. At this moment, he observes the thing in his hand. The edge stone is blue-gray, relatively narrow and long, the lower end is wrapped with hemp rope, and the upper end is polished and opened. This is a simple stone knife, and the coal picker must be a poor man, so he doesn't have the use of iron knives. Wang Zhe held the stone knife in his hand and watched the details closely. Yan Fei and other guards were confused when they saw the situation, and then saw Wang Zhe remove the hemp rope from the handle, and then squeeze the handle hard. Please take a look, what do you think this is? Wang Zhe spread out his palms, and the shattered stone slipped from his fingers. What remained in his palms was a grayish-white cylindrical thing. The three warriors took a closer look, and the thumb-sized off-white cylinder gave them a sense of familiarity. Young master, can I touch it? Yan Fei thought of something and asked uncertainly. Wang Zhe gestured casually. Yan Fei pinched the cylinder with his fingertips, felt the texture, and then determined the essence of the object. It's a human phalanx. Yan Fei frowned slightly, not because he was frightened by the human bones. As a warrior, Yan Fei had killed people before, but he was very gentle in front of Wang Zhe. He just felt a little weird, not only that, he also judged based on the texture of human bones. This person was a bone practitioner in his lifetime. The bone training state is to temper the bones. Yan Fei can judge the quality of the bones based on these tiny details. That's true, it's quite weird. Wang Zhe nodded slightly. The filthy aura that his eyes of the mingling discerned came from this human bone. Wang Zhe felt wrong. Even if this human bone came from a bone training martial artist, the most dissipated energy from the bones after his death should be the essence, just like the bones of the flood in Shanghu Lake, not the filthy air. Not to mention that the bones are still wrapped in stone, and something is wrong everywhere. As far as he could see, the coal picking man was still not far away, so Wang Zhe said. Chen Hei called that person over, and I want to ask where this person came from, and where did this stone come from? 
Chen He clasped his fists and immediately went to invite the civilian husband over. The upper body of the coal bearer is a coarse cloth and short brown, which is stained with coal powder, and it is slightly dirty. When he sees Wang Zhe and others dressed in bright clothes, he knows that he is not an ordinary person, so he stutters. Grass people, Wang Zhe frowned, you are not from the local area. There are different customs in three miles, and different sounds in five miles. The coal picker just opened his mouth, and Wang Zhe noticed something was wrong, and judged. You are from Hangzhong Kingdom. The Yu state is located in the south, with the sea in the east, the Qing state in the north, the barbarians in the south, and the vassal state of King Hangzhong in the west. According to the golden horn and silver edge grass belly, the Yu state occupied a silver edge. The coal picker became even more flustered when Wang Zhe revealed his identity, his knees were slightly bent, and he looked like he was about to kneel down. Wang Zhe frowned, and his tone eased slightly. What are you afraid of? I'm not an official. Can I still arrest you? I just want to ask where you are from, how long have you been in Louis County, and where did this stone come from? Just to get some news. Maybe it was because Wang Zhe was young and handsome, with a good appearance, white face and red lips, and his appearance made people approachable, but he lacked a little awe, so he told his identity in detail. Then Wang Zhe understood that about five months ago, a major earthquake occurred on the western edge of Hengjiang Kingdom, and the earth dragon turned over. The villagers in several villages were affected by the earthquake, their houses collapsed, people and animals were killed, and there was no harvest. There are also local tyrants who take advantage of the fire to rob, annex land, and bully men and women. The disaster-stricken people like the coal bearer had no choice but to leave their homes, cross mountains and ridges and cross national borders, and ran to you to make a living. As for the stone, it was picked up by a coal picker passing a place called Jianping Pass, on the way to flee the disaster. Seeing that the stone was of good quality, he polished it into a knife. Wang Zhe listened patiently, and after nodding slightly, he asked another question. For those who fled like you, did anyone else go to Louis County besides you? How is their livelihood? Wang Zhe thought that it was the impact of foreign refugees on local security. Most of the people in my bay have been running away. There are a few old cousins who come here to do work and make a living. The coal picker rubbed his hands, looking very cramped. Wang Zhe looked the coal picker up and down, and took ten coins from his sleeve as a reward. Okay, you go about your business. Holding the money, the coal picker was a little uneasy, as if he felt that the money was hot, and he didn't feel relieved until he saw Wang Zhe and others leave. People without a home are like grass without roots, in constant fear. Does any of you know what's special about Jianping Pass? Wang Zhe asked the left and right guards. Yan Fei looked thoughtful and said vaguely, Jianping Pass is a pass for our country to enter and exit, and it has existed for a long time. He has limited knowledge of it. Finally, Yi Yang said, I remember the words, more than 30 years ago, when the Qian dynasty was ruling the world, they fought a battle with the kingdom of Gui at Jianping Pass. It is said that they killed 50,000 soldiers of the kingdom of Gui. It has been rumored that it is a mass burial mound for the dead. The last great unified dynasty was Dagon, and when Dagon unified the world, it also fought north and south. This, Gui Kingdom, is one of the countries that were eliminated on the road to the unification of Dagon. Battlefield site, mass grave. Wang Zhe frowned. Suddenly, an inspiration flashed in my mind. Wang Zhe suddenly recalled an uninhabited village that was brutally slaughtered by King Wu's army when he returned to Yu Kingdom half a year ago. Nightmares, bones, foul breath. This series of elements reminded Wang Zhe of the deserted village he passed by when he returned to the Yu Kingdom. Is it possible that the two have something in common? Wang Ji's eyes narrowed slightly. After obtaining the Eye of Mingling, he thought about going back to see the strangeness of the deserted village, but he had never had the chance to succeed as Queen Yu and was entangled in various things. I don't know why, but there is a feeling from my stone fetus avatar. There seems to be some subtle changes in the world. The stone womb spirit monkey is a spirit of heaven and earth, and if the heaven and earth naturally change, it will react passively. It's like a razor clam digging a hole in the beach. After sensing the change in the concentration of salt water, it will actively poke its head out of the hole. However, the stone-born monkey is still an embryo after all, and this sense is still too vague. 
Wang Zhe thought about it, and at the same time he took the human bone back from Yan Fei's hand, and said. Take the map, I'm going to Jianping Pass to have a look. When the guard heard the words, his expression changed slightly. Ah, sir, do you want to change your itinerary? However, the king of Yu has this problem. When traveling abroad, the time and place must be clearly arranged. If the itinerary is suddenly changed in the middle, and the time and place do not match, then the relevant officials may decide that, the king of Yu lost connection. This is understandably troublesome, but Wang Zhe insisted. Go back to the inn and get the map. Well, whoever called him the king of Yu has willful power, and the workers had no choice but to change the original plan and inform the corresponding officials of the change. There was a lot of tossing and tossing, which made Wang Zhe deeply feel that it was not easy for King Yu to travel. Hurry up and get the avatar, it's really inconvenient to do some things with the status of the King of Yu. What he imagined was that in the future, the human King Yu and the stone-born monkey would sit in the capital, control the royal power, coordinate resources, and act as the rear, and would not leave easily without important matters. This is the safest and most profitable approach. And the other avatars have a high degree of freedom, they can go out and take risks at will, collect information, obtain treasures, and return to the capital for supplies when needed. While waiting for the guards to arrange the travel affairs, Wang Zhe was not idle. In addition to practicing martial arts, he also studied the human bone. Through changes, to spy on ghosts and gods, my pair of divine pupils can glimpse the essence of some things, or the posture of living beings before they were alive. Wang Zhe sat cross-legged on the couch, folded his palms together, with the palms facing up, and placed the human bone in his palms. Then, a halo appeared in his eyes, and golden light bloomed in his pupils. Shown by the divine pupils, a sinister and filthy aura that reveals an unknown meaning emerges from the human bones. This filthy aura is weak, and the owner of the human bone was only a warrior in the bone realm before his death. His essence is far inferior to that of Shanghu Jiaogu, or the god Nerha of the Baman Sutra. I spy with a human body, and I probably won't dangerous. Wang Ji's emotion surged, and then he activated the ability of peering ghosts and gods in the eyes of mingling. Next moment, Wang Zhe felt a layer of blood in front of his eyes, extremely noisy voices came from his ears, the smell of blood lingered on the tip of his nose, his skin was cold, and his blood was spurting. At the same time, scattered and chaotic messages popped up in his mind. White Dwarf, Feng He, Hu Da, Zheng Zhejin, Chen Guang, the soldiers of Gui Guo. Wang Yu Xingxi, repair my spear, cut down violently, and play Fugong. For a moment, Wang Zhe felt that he was White Shorty, Feng He, Hu Da, Zheng Zhejin, or Chen Guang. There is confusion in self-awareness, but these people all have a common identity the warriors of Gui State who defended Gui State and resisted the invasion of Qian State. Looking around, I saw warriors in armor and spears entangled and fighting each other under the scorching sun. Wang Zhe lowered his head and found that he was also wearing a set of earth-colored armor, holding a square shield and a long dagger in his hand, and the blade was stained with blood. Before he could think about it, he felt that there were many people pushing and shoving behind him with great force, pushing him forward. Wang Zhe had no choice but to follow the crowd and move forward. The roaring sound in the ear became more and more clear, looking forward, there was a dense crowd, all soldiers in black armor, armed with weapons, and aggressive. Brave, hater. At the first sight of this group of black armored soldiers, Wang Zhe knew the identity of the other party. Instinctively, a strong anger and killing intent exploded in my heart. With a slight movement in his mind, there was no need for his colleagues behind him to push and push. Wang Zhe held his spear and shield, stepped forward step by step, and stabbed the intruder fiercely with his weapon. Defend the family and defend the country, you die. He he, I have entered the memories of these Gui soldiers through the filthy aura attached to the human bones, and regarded myself as them. Wang Ji's consciousness watched his human soul fall into the state of hallucinations. He has one consciousness, two souls. After peeking at the filthy atmosphere of human bones with the eyes of the mingling, his human soul can't help but feel the dirty thoughts and residual consciousness in it. His human soul was impacted by the turbid thoughts, and for a while, following the memories of these dead, he returned to the battlefield more than 30 years ago. 
Because Wang Zhe has two souls, when the human soul falls into hallucinations, the soul of his stone-born monkey is still in a normal state. This is the first time I have experienced this kind of thing. If one soul has a problem, the other soul is still normal, and my consciousness can also remain normal. This is two souls, two souls, if there is a temporary problem with one, use the other. Wang Zhe complained in his heart. He found that because of the characteristics of the avatar, he had a high resistance to things like hallucinations and hysteria that affect the spirit and soul. At this moment, Wang Zhe did not force his human soul to wake up from the hallucinations. Instead, he obeyed the memories of these dead to experience the war that had taken place. Because Wang Zhe discovered that he could benefit from the hallucination experience. In the hallucination, he turned into a soldier of Gui State fighting against the invasion of Qian State, holding weapons, experiencing the battlefield in person, displaying martial arts, fighting to the death, trying to eliminate the enemy quickly. With just a few thoughts, Wang Zhe chopped off the heads of three soldiers from the Qian Kingdom. He was also wounded by the enemy's weapon, but he refused to give up an inch and continued to fight with tens of thousands of troops. Thinking about it this way, since I came to this world, whether I was under house arrest as a proton, or became the king of you, although the pressure was quite high, I really didn't fight the enemy very much, fighting for life and death. Although I practice martial arts, I have never killed anyone. I wondered when I would get my first blood, but I never thought that I would be in the hallucination of the dead. This is a good thing, it feels like a training camp same as the copy. Wang Zhe realized. His consciousness is not only kept awake by the stone-born spirit monkey, but also fights in hallucinations as a human King Yu, feeling the combat experience of those dead. Injured in the hallucination, Wang Zhe will also feel the pain, because this is something the deceased experienced before his death. Until he beheaded 17 people in the hallucination, as a soldier of the Gui Kingdom, he was bruised all over his body, unable to support his physical strength, and was powerlessly beheaded by the enemy. That is, at the moment of death, the hallucination ends. In reality, Wang Zhe felt something, and called out the slate. Wang Song, Soul Strength, 1.31. I broke through the formation and killed the enemy in the illusion of the evolution of filthy air, and it actually sharpened and increased the strength of my soul. Wang Zhe realized. At this time, look at the human bone in his hand again, the filthy aura attached to it has disappeared. When Wang Ji's soul experienced hallucinations, it absorbed all the dirty thoughts and residual consciousness mixed with filth. These turbid thoughts and residual consciousness are also a kind of soul energy. Absorbing them will also contribute to the strength of my soul. Wang Zhe carefully savored the harvest from the experience just now. Of course, the surviving consciousness of these dead contains the strongest emotions and obsessions they had during their lifetime, that is, hatred for the invaders, extreme unwillingness and anger for defeat, and a little fear of death. These are extremely negative emotions. If you do not try your best to resist rejection and allow them to merge with yourself, you will be polluted, your mind will be clouded, you will have hallucinations, nightmares, and even madness. Quote. Wang Zhe frowned, then relaxed again. Fortunately, I have supernatural powers. I have the talent and divine pupils shared by the stone-born spirit monkeys. I am very talented. It is also because of the existence of twin souls that I can maintain self-awareness, so that I will not really indulge in hallucinations and be unable to distinguish myself from outsiders. When the hallucinations are over and those negative emotions are vented through my soul, I can absorb the energy of these foreign souls and increase my soul strength. Quote. Wang Zhe made a summary. This filthy atmosphere is a double-edged sword, which does more harm than good to most people. But Wang Zhe was able to rely on his uniqueness to absorb the benefits while bearing the side effects. I thought that in order to strengthen my soul in the future, I would need to sacrifice the efficiency of martial arts practice. I didn't expect that there are such strange things in this world that can help my soul practice. Thinking of this, the corners of Wang Ji's mouth rose slightly. Then he looked at the unremarkable human bone in his hand. After losing the filthy aura, there is no strangeness in the human bone anymore, even if its owner had practiced the bone realm before his death, the essence and energy will dissipate as time goes by. The dead soldiers who defended their home and country in life, but their resentment persisted after death, and they became evil because of their unwillingness, Wang Zhe murmured. From the hallucinations of experience, 
Wang Zhe can know the experience of these deceased people. It was an extremely tragic battle to destroy the country, and these war dead were the ones who were destroyed. How can the country rest in peace? Shaking his head, Wang Zhe thought instead. How did the filthy aura on this corpse come into being? In the past, it was said that everything rests after death, but now there are still remnants. The world of stone embryos, dragon bones, and filthy air seems to be changing in the dark. Quote, Unknown things appeared one after another, which made Wang Zhe unavoidably a little worried. When Yan Fei and the others have arranged their itinerary, we will go to Jianping Pass to see how these filthy auras come out. Wang Zhe decided to investigate. Jianping Pass, the specific location is in the northwest corner of Yu County. The two mountains are adjacent to each other, and there is a pass in the middle. Wang Zhe and the three guards came here. Standing on the official road, overlooking Jianping Pass, Wang Zhe couldn't help complaining. It stands to reason that this kind of pass that occupies a dangerous mountain and river should be heavily fortified. However, my chief father handed over half of the soldiers and horses to King Qing, and it turned out that there were 50 soldiers at this pass, which is to say collect tariffs and crack down on the rogues. Shaking his head helplessly, it is not realistic to rearm the Yu Kingdom at this time. However, the purpose of his trip was not to check the post, so he turned around and asked the guard Yi Yang. Where is that killing pit? Wang Ji's purpose is to investigate the origin of the filthy aura in that human bone. The deceased was a soldier of the Gui state who participated in the Battle of Jianping Pass. After he died in the battle, it should be the Victor Qian state who was responsible for burying the body. Wang Zhe was looking for the burial place. Young master, come with me. The guard replied, they had already found out the relevant places. Carriage driving. Although he was escorted by blood-changing warriors, Wang Zhe did not lose his vigilance. He kept his eyes open all the way, searching for various potential dangers. Fortunately, Wang Zhe is not the fate of the Lone Star of Tiansha, and no natural or man-made disasters have found him. The only thing worthy of Wang Ji's attention is that his eyes of mingling notice the change of the Earth's veins. By the way, the coal picker said that there was a particularly strong earthquake near here five months ago, and it affected a wide area. Wang Zhe remembered this incident, and under the power of his divine pupil, knowing the location, he could see the movement of the Earth's veins deep in the land. Wang Zhe originally thought it was a natural earthquake, but as time passed, as the carriage got closer to the burial ground, Wang Zhe suddenly discovered. The destination of my trip seems to be the epicenter of that earthquake. Under the inspection of the Eye of Mingling, all the traces of the movement of the earth veins converge to one point, and that is the place of the mass grave. Not only that, but Wang Zhe followed the traces and relied on the ultra-distance vision of the mingling eye to see through the earth veins, and found a large cloud of filthy air gathered under the mass burial pit. If you want to describe the size of this mass of filthy air, for comparison, this is more than 100,000 times that of the small piece of human bone that Wang Zhe obtained before. I can absorb the filthy air from that small human bone to grow my soul, but if I want to replace it with the huge filthy air under the mass grave, I'm afraid I will be shocked into a lunatic. Wang Zhe was shocked. There was a turbulent wave in his heart, seeing that the carriage was still driving towards the destination unhurriedly, Wang Zhe quickly stopped and said. Parking. The driver Chen He was taken aback for a moment, although he didn't understand why, he still did it. Wang Ji's complexion was not good, and the three guards all noticed it, and they couldn't help but became vigilant and asked. Your Highness, is there a dangerous place nearby? Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly and asked. Do you three feel something is wrong? The three of them frowned when they heard the words, and carefully understood the surrounding environment. The fastest reply was Yan Fei. Your Highness, I have an indescribable feeling that there seems to be a vague sense of crisis ahead. The perception of a blood-changing martial artist is no longer limited to the five senses. Yan Fei can even control the tiny pores on the skin, and the world he perceives is extremely rich. He could vaguely feel the oppressiveness brought by the huge filthy air. The other two guards, Yi Yang and Chen He were a big difference in martial arts, and they didn't have Yan Fei's strange perception. The two just noticed that the sky seemed to be gloomy. Even though the sky was clear, the sun's rays gradually dimmed as we got closer to the mass graves, and we couldn't feel much temperature. 
They thought it was a natural celestial change, but after Wang Zhe reminded them, the two of them realized this, and they felt inexplicably terrified. All three of them noticed something strange, and at this time Wang Zhe was even more affirmative. Indeed, there are, dirty things, in the mass grave ahead. Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly, and his pupils bloomed. He could see that there seemed to be something brewing at the core of the huge gathering of filthy qi. The existence of filthy qi is just like Wang Ji's clone of the stone-born spirit monkey, which is in a state of development. Only ghosts can know what will come out of this burial pit after the development is complete. And more importantly, this burial pit is located in the territory of Yu State, which is a ticking time bomb for Yu State. I thought about going out to investigate and find some benefits by the way, but I didn't expect to find a big trouble. Wang Ji's heart tightened, and then he rejoiced. Fortunately, I can detect something is wrong from a long distance by relying on the eyes of the mingling. If I bump into it unknowingly, there may be some accidents. The power of the pupils appeared again. Because the filthy aura in the corpse pit is too huge, if you simply compare it with energy, the volume of the filthy chi is comparable to the essence of a martial arts master, and it is still growing. With such a huge amount of energy, Wang Zhe didn't intend to get close at all. After he stopped the carriage, he used the eye of mingling to observe from a distance of tens of kilometers. God's pupils appear, see thousands of miles. Although it does not have the power of going up to the poor and falling to the underworld, it still allows Wang Zhe at this moment to get a general idea of the strange situation in the burial pit. This is the remnant trace of the earthquake five months ago, which caused changes in the veins under the burial ground. The specific location is about 500 meters underground. There is a yin vein. Is that thing called a yin vein? Wang Ji's pupils are peculiar, and he also has the characteristic of, knowing them from birth, of a stone-born monkey. The nature of things in this world can be roughly understood just by taking a look at them. Everything in this world can be called, qi. A warrior absorbs the essence to strengthen his body, which can be called the warrior's blood energy, and it can also be called the yang energy of the living being. In contrast, it is the, qi, that involves the spirit of the soul, and it is called, yin qi, correspondingly. Living beings have dual images of yin and yang, and heaven and earth naturally have dual images of yin and yang. This yin vein is the ore vein of pure yin qi produced naturally. Quote, a bunch of information flashed in Wang Ji's mind, allowing him to understand what he was peeping at. After learning the information, Wang Zhe had more doubts. Yin Meridian, why did a yin meridian pop up, what happened? The earthquake seems to be just an introduction, the introduction that exposed the things that were brewing in the dark. There are indeed some changes in the world. He became more and more determined. Regardless of whether the changes in the world are good or bad, as long as Wang Zhe sees it right now. The yin veins in the depths of the burial ground were revealed after the earthquake, and a large amount of pure yin energy began to escape. The yin qi surged up, just in time to touch the bones of 50,000 Gui soldiers. The yin qi nourished these bones and drew out the resentment of the dead. When the resentment mixed with the pure yin qi, it became a very aggressive yin qi. The energy contained in the yin veins is huge, comparable to Wang Zhe seeing the dragon bone under the Shanghu lake, with the yin veins as an offering, it is hard to imagine, as time goes by, what kind of volume this filthy energy will eventually grow to. Who knows what this cloud of filth will turn into in the end. Wang Ji's expression was no longer calm, and it became cloudy and cloudy for a while. It was the first time for the guards around him to see His Highness showing such an expression, and their hearts were tensed. But as the burial ground ahead dangerous, need to drive back, Yi Yang said. He is a martial artist in changing tendons, so he is naturally courageous, but the job he is doing as a guard now, seeing that the situation is not right, the first thing he thinks about is the safety of the king of Yu. Your Highness, the son of a thousand gold can't sit still. If there is any abnormal situation ahead, we don't take this risk, or go back to the county and send soldiers and horse scouts to find out. Yan Fei also said the same. Focus on stability. When Wang Zhe heard the words, he nodded slightly at first, and said in agreement, indeed, a gentleman should not stand under a dangerous wall. However, when he changed his words, his tone became serious. But from a solitary perspective, this matter is of great importance, and it must be investigated, and it must not be delayed. 
The expressions of the three guards changed slightly, and they looked at each other. Yan Fei asked anxiously and puzzled. What a big deal, can your highness elaborate on it? Wang Jie shook his head and said. Talks about ghosts and gods should not be said clearly, for fear of the impermanence of the heavens and the panic of the people. It's really hard for him to explain why he knows so much, he might as well just shirk it to ghosts and gods. When the three guards heard the words, their faces became embarrassed, and His Royal Highness came to talk about ghosts and gods again. They don't know why, and the unknown creates anxiety and anxiety. There's no need to worry, you have your own measure, Wang Jie said flatly. He's calmed down now too. Because he saw it with the eyes of mingling, the cloud of filthy air was very bluffing at first glance, but if you look carefully, you will find that it is tangible and intangible, and it is still in a state of brewing. Just like Wang Jie's stone embryo monkey, Avatar, it is still in the developmental stage and has little influence on the outside world. Fortunately, it was discovered early. The earthquake happened five months ago, which means that this filthy aura has been bred for no more than five months. Although it has the size of a martial arts master, it does not have the essence of a martial arts master. If you don't take advantage of the current opportunity to quickly solve this hidden danger, and wait for it to develop in the future, it will really be a disaster. Wang Jie was determined to solve this hidden danger, and he also calculated the power he could use at present. One blood-changing warrior and two tendon-changing warriors. The current strength of the filthy chi should be lower than that of a martial arts master. I can retreat completely. This is an important indicator to measure the danger. Wang Jie intends to get closer to observe the reality of the burial ground. He is confident that no matter how evil and dangerous the filthy aura is, Wang Geshi's embryonic monkey avatar is definitely better in terms of perception and insight. It's just that lonely souls and wild ghosts are born under the nourishment of Yin Qi. In essence, how can they compare with the spirits of heaven and earth, the seeds of gods and demons? Being able to predict the enemy first, Wang Jie had a bottom line in his heart, and ordered. Drive the carriage forward slowly, gentlemen, don't worry, if you see that the situation is not good, you can wait for the wind and go. As he said so, the guards were reluctant to rest assured and drove the carriage carefully. As the distance to the burial pit got closer and the sky became dark, even the cart horses seemed to feel uncomfortable instinctively and neighed in a low voice. The hairs of the three martial arts masters stood on end, their swords in their right hands, and they were in a state of high vigilance. And after the distance was shortened to three kilometers, Wang Jie could finally see clearly what was brewing in the center of the filthy air in the picture. It was a sword, inserted crookedly on the ground. The exposed half of the sword body is full of rust, with several gaps in the edge, cracks all over the place, and many blurred lines, like a mirror on the verge of shattering. The sword grid was damaged, and the sword patterns engraved on it were intermittent, without a complete picture. The hilt of the sword is covered with brown soil stains, and the loose red and black tassel hangs down, broken and decayed. However, in the eyes of Wang Jie's mingling, this broken sword is the center where the filthy energy gathers. The yin qi released from the yin veins deep in the ground, mixed with the remnants of 50,000 bones, rises to the surface and concentrates in this sword, hey. The specification of this sword is not ordinary. Relying on the ability to see thousands of miles away, Wang Jie can clearly see every detail of the broken sword from a distance of 5 kilometers. The sword is the head of a hundred soldiers. In addition to fighting, it can also be used as a sacrificial weapon. It has status symbolism. People of different social classes have different swords with different specifications, materials and decorations. As a son of a prince, Wang Jie naturally knows all the etiquette of the upper class. Just judging from the material of the sword, the material of the remnant sword contains black bronze mother, this metal is the same secret mine as jade steel, even higher than jade steel. A sword made of jade steel is the specification of a general sword, or a sword for a first class martial arts master. If it is the Zan bronze mother, it is probably the sword of the king, the weapon of the master. What kind of level of battle is it that can break such a sword so far? Wang Jie's thoughts turned. He didn't know why such a sword appeared. There may be twists and turns behind it, but as far as Wang Jie can see now, this sword absorbs a lot of filth. Not only that, when Wang Jie's divine pupil visited, and the ghost appeared, he saw tens of thousands of turbid thoughts and residual consciousness gathered on the sword-like ghosts. 
Those ghosts were either covered in blood, their armor was torn, their heads were severed, their limbs were incomplete, or they were covered with golden sores. This is the remembrance of the 50,000 dead men of the Gui Kingdom. Their images and faces are blurred, as if tangible and intangible, but they are all attached to the broken sword. Only Wang Ji's mingling eye can see their existence. The crippled thoughts of 50,000 people, even if only one thought is born from a corpse, on the basis of 50,000, that is 50,000 thoughts. If you come close to touching that crippled sword, I am afraid that 50,000 people will be killed immediately. Remnant shock. Hey, such a mental shock. Maybe the martial arts master can't stand it, right? Quote. Wang Zhe narrowed his eyes slightly, and he raised his hand to signal that the carriage could stop. The guards did so, Chen He comforted the restless horse, while Yi Yang jumped out of the carriage to observe the environment from side to side. It can be seen that in the basin embraced by the two mountains, there is an empty, white land where not a blade of grass grows. Covered with sand and gravel, there are many huge rocks, and the ground is cracked. The shocking cracks looked like a pair of invisible hands had violently torn the land apart. Thinking that there was an earthquake in this place, Yi Yang observed. As far as I can see, the crack is about three feet wide at its widest point. I don't know how deep it is. I'm afraid the carriage will be impassable. On the carriage, with Yan Fei guarding him, Wang Zhe was thinking about how to deal with the broken sword full of filth. Actually, I found out just in time. This evil spirit is just an immobile sword right now. Wang Jie sighed in his heart, he had already called Qin Jian, evil spirit. The criteria for Xie Chong's judgment were set by Wang Jie himself. He saw that the huge mass of filthy air contained extremely strong and extreme negative emotions, and its mere existence was a bomb that could easily harm others. But Wang Jie felt that after being attacked by the filthy air, it would still be insignificant, not comparable to the size in front of him. He doesn't think that any good existence will be born after letting such a thing take shape. Monsters are born to cause harm to the world, and this place is within the territory of our country. As a monarch, Wang Zhe doesn't know how to gamble. This is irresponsible to himself. The best way is to extinguish the disaster when it is still in its infancy. The mere existence of this kind of thing is a threat to the country of Yu. Wang Zhe was determined to deal with it, but he encountered difficulties in what method to use. I definitely can't touch Kanjian directly, and I'm even reluctant to get close. It's not appropriate to let Yan Fei pass by. I have a feeling that something unexpected will happen. It's better to be careful. Wang Zhe found out that there was nothing he could do with the broken sword based on his own martial arts cultivation level. One person is short-witted, but luckily I have two minds. Wang Ji's eyes narrowed slightly. At the same time, in the palace of the King of Yu, which is tens of thousands of miles away, the stone embryos enshrined on the stone pedestals were the same, but the embryos inside slowly opened their eyes. It wakes up from hibernation again. With the nature of the stone-born spirit monkey god Devil Seed, its efficiency in thinking about problems and solving solutions will be much stronger than Wang Ji's mortal body. It is only in the embryonic state, and it can possess extremely high wisdom. The spirit monkey woke up, and Wang Zhe used two brains to think about the solution to Kan Jian. To solve these filthy qi, the first thing is to pull out the remnant sword and take it away, so as to interrupt the hatching process, and then treat the symptoms and cure the root cause. The 50,000 corpses buried in the shallow underground are nourished by the yin veins all the time, and new ones are born. The filthy air must be cut off at this root. But the first step, pulling out the broken sword is a difficult task. It is the gathering of 50,000 remnants of the dead, the most troublesome part is that it is impossible to avoid being impacted by the remnants when touching the remnant sword, so we have to find a way to resist or avoid it. Wang Zhe thought quickly, seeing that his highness was silent, Yan Fei had a gloomy face, as if he had encountered a major problem. Yan Fei also saw it in his eyes, worried in his heart, and secretly said. Your Highness is so thoughtful, it's a shame that I have a blood-changing cultivation level, and I can't separate my worries from one to the other, alas. He was also depressed in his heart, since he has cultivated in Tang Tang blood-changing realm, he is also a first-class martial arts master in the world, why is it so useless when encountering troubles? Yan Fei leaned out of the carriage and looked at the white field where Qin Jian was. What the hell is that? Even I feel a creepy danger. He suddenly felt that the world seemed strange. 
Immediately afterwards, Yan Fei heard Wang Ji's breathing became short, and he immediately returned to the carriage. But at this moment, Wang Ji's eyes are shining brightly, and his brows are beaming with joy, as if seeing the sun through the clouds, suddenly enlightened. I figured out a way. Wang Jie secretly clenched his fists. His eyes of mingling opened, and what he was looking at this time was not Kanjian, but himself, or more precisely, the luck of the king of Yu entangled in him. Only Wang Jie can see that at this moment, his nine layers of vermilion are all purple, and the last bit of purple luck begins to transform into vermilion. There is even a little bit of gold in the middle of the vermilion. This is the complete luck of princes and kings, Wang Jie has the luck that matches his identity. The stone-born monkeys that rely on luck support can feel the changes in luck the most, nourish more, and the incubation time has been accelerated by 10 years. The stone-born monkeys have also become more active, and they can display more supernatural powers. With the help of the perception of the stone fetus monkey, Wang Zhe knew the reason for his luck upgrade. In Yian Town, the Taiwei won the first battle, defeated the barbarian invasion, and gained a lot. Luck is the gathering of people's wishes, and wishes are the voice of the heart, expectations, prayers, and beliefs. The stone-born monkey could sense through luck that the soldiers on the front line against the Nanman invasion were praising the king of Yu. Yian Town, a few Yu soldiers were detaining the barbarian invaders in shackles. The savages are hairy and well-built, dressed in garments made from the skins of wild animals. The face is painted with gray and white beast patterns, which looks very vicious at first glance. However, the barbarian lowered his head at this moment, his whole body was wet, his lower body was covered in mud, his face was ashen, like a fish being slaughtered. No matter how embarrassed the barbarians were, the soldiers of U State were as happy as they were. A soldier stuck his waist and patted the captive on the back with a scabbard. Ha ha, stupid barbarian from the south, isn't he still majestic? Another soldier laughed loudly and said, that's not true. A thousand people fell into the muddy ground, just like a thousand pigs, and they couldn't be caught. Pigs know how to beat people up. It took too much effort to catch them. These barbarians surrendered directly. I have never fought such an easy battle in my life. Another soldier let out a bad breath. The captured barbarian was full of aggrieved faces, and he couldn't help recalling the invasion of you. According to their traditional art skills, they invaded the weak point on the border of Yu State this time, intending to cross the line of defense quickly like the lightning of God Nerha, rush into the villages of Yu State County, and plunder the homes of the people of Yu State storage, pigs and poultry, granary, and women, and then bring all the harvest back to the tribe. But who knew, not long after they dared to cross the border, a heavy rain suddenly fell. Seeing the bad weather, the barbarians planned to suspend their aggression, but the rain was so heavy that it even caused landslides and cut off their retreat. They had to take a detour, but it was raining in another detour, which made their retreat much slower, so that the U soldiers caught up. Even because of the torrential rain, the terrain changed, and their barbarians plunged into a muddy field, with their knees sunk in the mud. This muddy ground sinks in and it is difficult to pull out. Even a bone-training martial artist with a strength of 5,000 caddies can't find a point of strength in this muddy ground. A warrior's strength cannot be exerted at all. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks. Surrounded by you soldiers, they shot them with bows and crossbows. These barbarians trapped in the mud were like living targets. Seeing this, the barbarians had no choice but to surrender. Recalling the entire invasion process, the barbarians were extremely aggrieved, and they even had faith doubts. Why doesn't our god Nerha bless us, why is there such a heavy rain? The barbarians regarded the rainstorm as a nightmare, and the youth soldiers regarded the rainstorm as a blessing. God opened my eyes, there is also the master Taiwei who has a clever plan, so we can easily capture this group of barbarians. None of the Vietnamese soldiers thought otherwise. Yet their superiors told them after the war. It's not the kinsman, it's his royal highness the king of Yu. Before the battle, his highness prayed to the ghosts and gods, prayed for enlightenment, and let the Taiwei Lord know that there is a rainstorm, and God will help, so that he can follow the sky and defeat the enemy and capture the thief. Quote, I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.